Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy Daniel Munoz and I got the Clinch County Homerville Recreation Director A.C. Cooper with us tonight. A.C. Man, we appreciate you allowing us to come do these rec games here at the gym, man. I know all the kids are excited about being on Creek Box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. I, I talked to a couple of the kids just then, and I said, all right, you got to be good tonight. Now you're going to be on TV. And they, <laughs> my eyes got big as Kenneth 56. <laughs> man, they're they, they excited. They really are excited. Yeah, when they get home tonight, boy, they'll hit play. We'll, <laughs> we'll have 10,000 views tonight. <laughs> uh, coming in. Now, this age group, AC is six and under. Yeah. So it's basically four, five, and six. Yeah, four, five, and six. I, I created this a couple of years uh, a couple of years ago. I mean, normally we do like five and six, but I had so many people wanted it. They actually wanted to get the kids involved a little bit sooner, and I thought it was a good opportunity to do that. And so we, instead of doing five and six, we just combined the girls and the boys and made the four, five, six year old co ed basketball. That's league. right. It's co ed girls and boys. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good, man. Looks like you got about nine on each team, and after this, we got the same age group will come up also, right? You yeah, that's, got another that's game. Yeah, that's correct. Actually, we, we had four teams, and I, I think I want to say there was we had at least ten or better on each team. Um, as the season gets started, people started started kind of kind of getting lost in the mix or that's whatever. Right. But when we first started, we probably had ten to twelve head on each team. Well, we got Clinch Red now, number four, bringing it down for Clinch Red, and that is Ryson Henley. I'll get the roster on all of them and give all of them. Now, at halftime, AC, do y'all shoot free throws at halftime? Yeah, do y'all still do that? Yeah, we let them shoot free throws at halftime because uh, uh, most time, um, a lot of the kids don't get a chance to That's shoot. That's right. 
So with that being said, we let them shoot at halftime to make sure everybody at least lead the gym, at least taking a shot or two. What a white team, number four. You know he's a Denmark. I can tell that's Parker Denmark. <laughs> hey, is that Taylor's little yeah, boy? That, yeah, yeah, it looked like Taylor. That's next to the next to oh, the last. We got number five <laughs> shooting for the clinch white. That's Dane. Denmark. That must be his first cousin. Yeah, they cousins. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I know that's a job. You have to keep cousins, neighbors, and all on the one team. One team. Was it still like that? Yeah, it's, it's still like that. I mean, everybody, everybody got that ultimate little thing that they they like. Well, uh, um, that they want to want to try to keep them together right. for ride purposes and stuff like that. So yeah, we try. We still do that. You got number eight shooting a free throw, and that is Zayden Wilson. They're going to shoot, man, and I see you got Coach J.D. Gwynn, Eastman, great coach. He coached for me out here when I was here, too. And uh, you got – who's your other coach over here? Uh, That's Brian Heron. Brian Heron. He yeah. coached all – he's been coaching for years. Yeah. Brian and J.D., man, I'm telling you, two fine men. I mean, That's these right. These guys here, man, you would want these guys to be over your kids. I mean, they're really good people. They're dedicated. I, I, I'm really, really fortunate to have two fellas like me. Need like more of them. Need more of them. And if anybody's out there watching, man, if y'all want to come be a part of the Rec Park, AC's always needing coaching, refereeing, umpires. Uh, you want to help, just come on. He'll find something to do if it's cooking French fries. That's right. <laughs> There's always something to do at the Rec Park. Uh, number eight, that's Wilson bringing it down again for the white team. He's trying to get it. Good interception there. Trying to get his number. That's Ryson there. That's he's number nine. I think he might number have got nine. it. Yeah, that's Ryson. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's that's P. Yeah. John. That's P. John's grandson. That's P. John's grandson. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, the last couple of days, man, they um, they've scored a lot of points. I mean, like score had been twenty something or something. I man, mean, it used to be five to four, and it was one at halftime. <laughs> they putting up some numbers. I can tell you that. Number one, that is a Kinsley Prester for the Clint. Oh, no, that's Clint White. I'm sorry. That's that's number four. Oh, that's number four. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, um, and Ryson is number nine. Okay, okay. You probably, couldn't read it. You probably couldn't read it yeah, good on the thing. That's right. And Cameron Lee would be number seven. Number seven. Mm -hmm. Ten-four. Right. I yeah. got that straight okay. now. Number two, that's Jess, Jesse Merriweather. Josiah Merriweather. I get that. That's how you pronounce that. Josiah Merriweather. Number two. Oh, Clinch White. I'm sorry, AC. I've got it all mixed up. That was Consola Quinn. Am I pronouncing that right? Consuela. 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 Mm -hmm. Consuela. That's JD's daughter. It goes number one, Clint White. That's DJ Quinn. That's one, another one. Of, yeah, that's uh, JD. Yeah, he, I tell you what, that joke it up, man. Yeah, he's he, gonna be a good little, little, ball, good little player. ball player. Yes, sir. He love it to death. JD have to drag him out of here. At the end I of the guarantee game. you, he played <laughs> last year. I remember doing a game watching him last year. Now he's got an older brother that plays also, doesn't he? Or just, yeah, well, um, um, Isaiah played twelve of you. Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Denmark, he can't stay in the circle. Boy, I steal him hard. That's a hard habit to break. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> they want that ball, man. I'm telling I you. Saw your Steedley. He, he knows just stay outside the circle. Denmark's going to take it. Look out. He's like a little rocket. Yeah, yeah. All the way. Oh, can't get it. Number eight for the red team. That is Andrews. She's going to bring it down. No, that's number four. For the red, that'll be Prester there. Oh, hard collision. We got a foul. You got Doreen out here refereeing. Who else helps you referee, AC? Um, Jimmy Andrews, James Edwards, uh, James Williams helps some. Man, I got a, a referee by committee, man. That's but right. I would, I would. Hey, it didn't, it didn't do me no good this past weekend. Cause I, right. I had to do like six games myself. I guarantee, you. man. Hey, hey, <laughs> boy, I used to hate doing that, and it's a close game too. Yeah, yeah it always be. Yeah. <laughs> and little number eight for the white team. That is Wilson, Zayden Wilson. There's not much dribbling involved in this age group. 
They dribble about every 10 steps. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, you, you know, this is good for them. This is teaching them the basic about basketball. Doreen trying to keep them in the circle. <laughs> you need to get Scott LaCease back out here to referee. It's what you need to do, draw him out of retirement. I, I wish we could. I wish we could persuade him to do it. <laughs> yeah, man. I'd like to come watch him referee. <laughs> there goes little Denmark again. Too hard. Just a little too hard. A little too hard. Yeah. He'll throw it back up. Number one with the rebound, put it up. That was Quinn. We are all tied up, two to two. And now you play four quarters, AC? Yeah, we play four. Actually, we play four um, um, five-minute quarters uh -huh. with, with a running clock because, I mean, you don't want to put too much on them. No, to stop well, the clock, man, yeah. and plus you got four or five games yeah, you got, got four, to get yeah. in. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, almost, almost at the buzzer. At the buzzer yep. Number eight, that was Zayden Wilson. All right, now I can give them all out. The clinch red is a kin. Akili Priester. Akili Priester. Josiah Merriweather. Josiah Merriweather. Kingston Posley, number three. Number nine. Ryson Henley. Ryson Henley. Henley. Number five is Sawyer Steedley. Six is Hans, Hans Heron. Heron. Mm -hmm. Seven, Elise Collins. And eight is Dakari. Dakari Andrews. And seven is Cameron Lee. Mm -hmm. On the clinch white, you have DJ Quinn. Consuela. Consuela Quinn. Edward Gillis. Number three, number four, Parker Denmark. Number five, Dane Denmark. Number six, Abby Johnson. Number seven, Caleb Johnson. Number eight, Zayden Wilson. And number nine, J.D. Smith. That's pretty good two teams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're all tied up. Now we go to overtime, AC? No, we don't do overtime. <laughs> we hey, shake hands and go to Dairy Queen. Hey, when, when the game end up in a tie, everybody go home happy. Everybody win. I ain't lying, boy. That's, <laughs> that's the best, that's the best, best, that's the best feeling in the world, yep. They can leave him thinking they could have won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. If it's on Saturday with the older kids and we got a little bit of time to spare, I will. But that's right. During, that's the, right. during the weeknight, I mean, it's well, just. Well, now, when y'all play Lakeland or Pierce and something yeah, like that, y'all. Yeah. Y'all go into overtime. Because mm -hmm. we had a great game last year we did with y'all mm -hmm. over here on a Saturday that went to overtime. Now, Thursday, we're coming back to do all the boys' games. Mm -hmm. And that'll be your 8 and under, 10 and 10 under, and 12, 12 and under. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, we got some good groups. Man, so. I was watching them practice yeah. Sunday. Mm -hmm. so I tell you, Coach Terrence, George, there's some height coming. Yeah, we, we don't have much hype now, but they some coming mm, now. I tell you what, uh, Clinch County is in a good place. A good place. I mean, a couple of years from now, uh, I see us being really, really good in basketball. I, and I say this about all three sports, and 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 it's true, all three sports. Hey, that's Denmark with a basket. That's gonna put the white team up four to two. That little joker, he, 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 he's a tough little fella. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. He's got an older brother that's a pretty good football player, yes. too, that mm -hmm. plays. He, I think Josh was age, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he is. 11, yeah, 11, he's 11, 12. 11 or 12 year old. Uh -huh. There he goes again. He's going to aim, lay it up. He's got that timing down yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Six to two. All right. Who's that dribbling the ball, AC? That's Cameron Lee. Cameron Lee. <laughs> I couldn't see his number on his back to get it to number eight in the red. That was uh, Andrews. He's going to be a big young Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Now, is that Sean? That's, that's, that's Sean's son. Man, mm -hmm. boy, we getting old, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Seems like him, Sean, and all them were playing football in high school. Mm -hmm. They were at the wreck part. You coached them when they were little. Yep, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Been a long time ago. <laughs> Got number one there, that. Trying to shoot. She's going to pass it to number seven, Collins. 
Uh oh, that's a good steal. Who's that? That's number one. That's Quinn. Almost got it in the basket. Rebound there. That little one, he's going to get it off. That's number five for the white. That's Dane Denmark. Throws it up again. He'll miss it. The clock running. There's three minutes to play here in the second quarter. It's six to two. Let's see for the red, number two is going to bring it down. That's Merriweather. Oh, there's another steal by Quinn. Number one, he's going to go all the way up and in. Eight to two. Caleb Johnson, number seven, is in. He'll run back down for the white team. You know what's good? They usually give every one of them a turn bringing the ball down so they can dribble a little bit. You like this group because 90% of them, they, like, they just like to play. They don't care what the score is. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn back down the court. There he goes. Going to throw up another one. Got his own rebound. Oh, he was tackled at the 10-yard line. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey, that was number five for the red. Got him. He went, I saw your Steedley. We're going to let him score. Number nine for the white. That's J.D. Smith. Dribbling around. Have you seen one hit a three in this age group yet, no. AC? <laughs> they, 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 they ain't strong enough to do that. <laughs> yeah. That don't stop them from trying, does no, it? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Man, when uh, I was out here for it, there was one little boy at this age group that could hit a three. And, you know, the rule is you can't come out. Mm -hmm. And, man, boy, they'd get mad. He'd stand up there. They couldn't come guard him, and he's just killing them. Finally, I had to I had to adjust the rules a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, we got one in the, in the, that plays next. I'm telling you, man, he he scored about 18 or 20 <laughs> last, um, last time we played. I'm talking about spin moves and everything. I mean, Hey, it's a Swenson too. So, that I, well, yeah, that yeah. answered your question <laughs> yeah. there, Swenson. <laughs> yeah, I was writing that uh, roster down. I seen that there's Steedley trying to get off the shot. He handed off to number three. That's Gillis. Gillis will get it. The Quint. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm up here. I'm on the the white. That's the red team. I can fix that. There, I'll fix that right red down. I think this little kid right here is, is Prester. No, this one. I think Merriweather. Yeah, he's number he's number two. Kingston. This little kid is not here today. This uh, yeah, just Josiah, Joshua J Josiah, Josiah uh, Merriweather. He's not here today. I don't okay. Think. So do they have a number so, two out so there? So number two is Kingston Posley. Oh, so number two is Kingston Posley. Okay. Yeah. Unless let me see. Unless, I think that I think that's Messiah. You had the numbers, man. I think that's Messiah, number three, right there. Number three is yeah. Messiah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Steedley with a big block. They're gonna get him for a foul on Denmark. That's gonna get us to halftime. I think they'll all line up and they'll take a turn, won't they, AC? Mm -hmm. Denmark of oh, them uh, foul shots he's shooting. Y'all walk them up as close as you can. AC, mm. or, oh, good shot by Denmark. That's Dane with the basket. Got one more to shoot. Almost got that one. All right, coach. Let the coaches count them up. Let the coaches count them up. 
Let JD can count his and, and Brian can count his. There we go. We're going to line up each player and the point counts. A lot of times this is where the game is won and lost at the free throw line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two, four, five, six. And if both teams, if one team has nine and the other has eight, the other team will get to shoot twice. They'll pick one player. And, you know, if I was the coach, it'd be the best one I'd have. Boy, you oh, they yeah. used to get yeah. mad oh, about yeah. that. Yeah. Them. Well, I mean, they got one less player. <laughs> Scott, get mad, boy. <laughs> 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 oh, man. <clears throat> Number eight for the white is shooting, and that is Wilson. Oh, just a little off. And number four down there, AC for the red. Who'd you say that was? That's Priestin, Brister. Priestin, Priestin. Number nine for the white shoot. Now that's J.D. Smith. And Steedley will be shooting for number, for the red team down there, number six. Oh, man, Quinn missed his. He's mad. He don't want to miss his. Yeah, he don't. <laughs> That's up there, boy. He competitive. I'm Good telling. shot by D Dane again. Made his. Mm. Now the cousin will come up there. That's Parker. Good shot. He made his. The red. I don't think the red made one yet. Mm. Number five is shooting for the red. That's Sawyer. Oh, almost. Our number nine will come up. That is Henley. Rice and Henley. Missed it. There it is. Oh, just a little off. Number three. Who'd you say that was? Oh, that's that's Mayweather. Josiah Mayweather. Yeah. Josiah. Mm Can't buy a bucket on the red. On the red no, red. no. Excellent. Oh, man, they all around it, going everywhere but in, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Edward Gillis down there shooting for the white team. All of theirs about made them. Uh -oh. There's one. Little girl going to ring it. Who was that, AC? That's uh, Prester, isn't it? That's uh, Collins. Collins. Elise Collins. Elise Collins. Yeah, she's number one. She's seven. number one. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and Cameron Lee is number seven. Yeah, Cameron Lee, I got okay, that. Okay. I fixed that. Okay. They still you boy when they score, they want that point right on their DNA C. Cameron, yeah, they, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I had somebody come to me today say, "Hey, y'all forgot a point." <laughs> All right, we're All gonna right, take uh, a. Look. He made it. Uh, he made it. Who oh, number two? Kingston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He made both of his. All right. Good shot, Kingston. All right, we're going to take about a 60-second break, let them go to the bathroom, and we'll be back for the second half. Accidents happen. When they do, call on the Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjones.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville. And All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley. Got my buddy A.C. Cooper, the Clinch County Homerville Recreation Director with me. We're watching the Clinch Red and the Clinch White. This is six and under. This is four, five, and six-year-old co-ed basketball. It's 15 to eight with Clinch White leading. Steedley going to drive to the basket just a little off. <laughs> we got a foul from behind. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he tackled him. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got one injured. Hey. Used to, I'd keep a box of ring pops out here. That'd make them, that'd make them get better right quick. Like. I remember you telling me that when I first started. <laughs> hey. 
Oh, man. Now you see uh, this age group just plays each other. Right. Yeah, that's, that's right, yeah. Now, when, when do you start playing the other, like Lakeland and Pearson? What well, age group? well, actually, the, the boys is going, supposed to start next. Uh, we play on um, Pearson tomorrow. The 10 year boys and the 12 uh -huh. year boys was going to, but the 12 year boys, the game's going to be canceled. They're going to play each other, but the 10 year boys will play Pearson tomorrow. And I'm going to tell you, that's going to be a real, that's going to be well, a man, good game. When you get that game mm -hmm. back, you know, mm -hmm. try to get it on a Monday or Thursday mm -hmm. so we can okay. come do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that'll be one everybody want to see right there. That's I know. Uh, they, they good, and my little tenure team pretty good, too. I talked to Ray. Ray, Ray likes, boy, his bunch likes to be on Creek Box, yeah. too, from over mm -hmm. there. So uh, He got a good little tenure team, though. They, they, yeah, they always got a decent team. Better He's got that uh, lady over there. She's still yeah. coaching. Man, mm -hmm. she's yeah. a fine She coach. really is, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's number nine for the red. Too That's hard. Henley. Too hard. Red trying to come back. They see it 15 to 8 now. Mm. Yeah, I imagine with them 12 and unders, you got to have almost three referees because they're like real basketball. Yeah. They'll mm -hmm. run wide yeah, open. I do. Well, I actually, I get James Williams to come because he's certified yeah. and yeah. he do a really good job and he controls man, the heat. They'll, yeah. they'll press yeah. and man, yeah. you talk about refereeing mm -hmm. getting give out. Now that'll give you out. Yeah. yeah. I love having James over. He do a really, really good job. Mother other ones do too. But to see somebody that that's certified. That's out right. There, that's right. Well I mean, it also yeah. helps your yeah. referees yeah. To, mm -hmm. to learn. To learn, exactly, yeah. Little red team trying. There she goes. In oh, that's gonna be a foul. Doreen got it. That'll put, she made both her free throws a while ago, too. That's Priester, isn't it? Uh, Ace, no, that's uh, number. That's Priester. Mm, that's is that, that Priester, yeah, number four? Number yep. four, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good little old shooter. Yeah, she fights on defense, too. Well, I'm the first game, she wouldn't let them do nothing. I mean, every time somebody touched the ball, she was right up on them. <laughs> I told her, I told Take her, it from her teammate. I told her mom, I said, she's going to fire a lot in the first quarter. <laughs> yeah. There it is. She made one yeah. of them. Good shot by she's, Priester. Yeah, she's feisty, though. I can tell you that. Yeah, some of them are feisty. They'll take it from their own teammate. <laughs> Denmark bringing it back down for the white team. That's Parker. Oh, he's trying to get it to his cousin, but... Quinn gonna come get it, and he's gonna be a ball player. Mm-hmm. That little Ross and Henley gonna be gonna be pretty good. Oh, too, he man. got it. The Look number at JD. nine. Oh, oh JD shot. Smith. Yeah, JD Smith <laughs> with the basket. Yeah, he got that sky hook laid it in there. <laughs> Steedley gonna throw up a long. Boom. Oh man, almost got it. Go in. Ah, Wizzy. Shot of Wizzy. <laughs> Let's see. Skyler Barnes is 10 new girls playing a different team, not Homeville. Nope, they're playing Homerville, right? Yeah, they're playing Homerville. It'll be right. all the games tonight for the girls will be competing against each other. We appreciate you texting in, though. Boom! Denmark yeah. almost with a long one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're trying to trying to kind of stay in house well, with the, with the ten U girls because um, well, not only that, it's hard. Other yeah. Lakeland and and Pearson, you know, just because we got a, a bunch of girls playing. Yeah, that's that mean right. Lakeland, Lakeland Pearson, and Pearson though. That's it's right. Hard to find I, teams. Yes, it really is, and it's we've just been been privileged to be able to to do have enough for two teams and. We got we got like eight to nine girls on that team, and so I, I'm, I feel good where we at. I really didn't want to try to play nobody outside because this is the first year going to district. Uh -huh. So we trying to trying to work on and, and clean up all the little stuff that we need to clean up That's before right. we go to district. Because when, when they go to district, they call just yeah. like the high school game. Yeah, you won't see yeah. this picking up. Yeah, I mean it's, yeah, it's yeah. dribbling, mm -hmm. it's dribbling, walking. That's right. Mm -hmm. Every foul. Mm -hmm. Now, did they only get five fouls? Five AC, fouls, five yeah. fouls, that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Man, I thought they might yeah. give them seven, no. you know, being young like that. Yeah, they they, they definitely, they, it's just like the high school. Well, here comes Quinn back the other way. He made a couple. Oh, I thought that went in, but it didn't. 
Denmark will throw it up. The other Denmark will put it up. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter, 17 to 9. Clinch wide on top. We'll take a break. Me back in six seconds. Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salad, pasta, dessert, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. All right, everybody, we're back live on Creek Box. We're at the middle school here in Homerville, Georgia, doing some recreation basketball. This is the six and under co-ed. Four, five, and six. Man, it looks like there's got a bunch of kids out, AC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They, I mean, they, they come out. I mean, when they ain't playing, they try to be out. And some of them come out in practice, they won't go home. They're going to stay and watch all these games. And, man, you know you already got middle school. There goes Quinn again down on the other end. Lays it up and in. Another basket. We uh, you got middle school baseball already going on. Yeah, that's you right. Know, you're, but you're not too far out from baseball, are you? Yeah, we start um, sign ups February the first. We'll do sign ups from February the first to March the first. We'll start practicing. We'll probably be playing at the, at the mid March. Well, probably the third week in March. We'll probably be playing games. And then you go all the way to July the fourth. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. <laughs> uh. Yes, sir. Well, that man, that's good recreation. That's what it's for, man. Uh, now, I talked to somebody. Y'all talking about putting up some basketball goals out at the Rec Park, AC? Yeah, um, they, they're trying to put a project together. To tear, they want to tear down all the old stuff. That's right. The old office building and all that. And, and tear that down in the basketball courts and build another basketball court closer to the park in mm -hmm. that big open area where the, where the where the old building used to be at. Where the barn used, the to, barn be. used to be at. So that, that's, that's been the talk. Um, Man, that's I, good. We need yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, we, and, um, we need it. And um, matter of fact, I, talk, I talked to the, one of the Miser representatives the other day, and they was willing, wanted to know what they could do and come out and all the, the I mean, any kind of work that needed to be done, physical work, any pain or anything like that, they was more they said they, they would put a hand in it. Well that's good so, man. That's uh, good. I mean you need people like that. Yeah. To the, mm -hmm. So um so ho hopefully we can get them because there's nowhere now for them to play basketball at the Pea Ridge Park of course they mm -hmm. got it yeah. fixed back up and uh Yeah so um they're still undecided because I mean we 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 um, some other stuff that's going on, so we applied for like a grant for the park, and all. Uh, we're waiting to hear back from that. And that I happens, try. Be a lot of stuff that we we'll be able to do to the park, both parks. So hopefully, all that'll come through. I tried. Man, this is very important. The community direct park is. Oh, there you go. She need a piece of paper. I do, darling. Here you go, right here. We're getting a line up for the next game. There we go, Clinch Red down there, tying it up. <laughs> she gonna take the ball. That is number, what number is that, AC? That's number one for the Red. That's Collins. 
They weren't going to let her. Oh, Denmark got it away from her. Look. Doreen, I think, sees that they had six out there. So she's going to pull one back. Hey. All right, number six for the red team. That's Heron with the ball. He throws it in. Almost got it to fall. Jump ball. <laughs> It'll be hard to get it away from Denmark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that. All right, white team coming down. They lead. That's uh, Wilson dribbling down. White team leads 19 to 9. Here comes the clinch red back on this end. That's number nine. That is Henley, Rice and Henley. Almost got it to fall. Rebound, who's that, number eight? That's Andrews. Denmark will steal it. Here he goes. He's slowing down. He got his timing down. Oh, missed it. Got his own rebound. Hey, number one going to come get it. That's Collins. He didn't want to go. He <laughs> better back up. She'll take it from him. <laughs> oh, that's a good steal. Red, that's number three. That's Merriweather, and that's going to do it with the final. Clinch white 19, Clinch red nine. We're going to take a couple-minute break. We're going to come back and do another six and under they got Go two ahead, seconds left right here. Oh, two yeah, seconds. Two seconds left, yeah. Oh, Lord. At the free throw line. Actually, they're going to just play it. They won't never get a shot out, though. He's too far out. Tell him to shoot. Two seconds. That's going to wind it up. We'll take a break now. We're getting the lineup for the next game. We'll be back in just a little bit. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll.
Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernand. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. 
We offer all lines of insurance, including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Pigler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, all right, we're getting ready for game two tonight. We got the clinch black and the clinch gray team playing. I went to the concession stand, man. They was busy. Got the popcorn and some peanut M&Ms and a Coke and Skittles. All right, I see who coaches for the gray team. For we got you. Jordan Andrews coaching the gray team, and we got um, Shante... Edmonds coaching uh, the black team. That's Mudcat daughter. All right. Mm -hmm. Pretty good ball player too when she played. Jordan played too. You remember Jordan? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But you remember about Scoochie though? Yeah, that's right, Scoochie. <laughs> that's it. He don't go by that no more. He do. He do. Yeah. Hey. He got two little boys out there. That number one and he's a good young man. He yeah. played receiver. Mm -hmm. Number right. one and two is this kid. Clinch Gray. All right. Yeah, that's Jordan Andrews. All right, there's the Clinch Black, number four, oh. Casey Crosby. Now, is that, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's Casey. Casey's, Casey's little boy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's always been a good little old coach, mm -hmm. little old ball player for the Panthers. Number six for the Black, Emma Cott. That's Travis's little one. Number one there, that's Brand Braid, Braden Johnson. Baden, Baden, Baden Johnson, yep. There we go. Number one, that's that Andrews. Yeah, he looks like his daddy. <laughs> He's gonna be tall. Mm-hmm. And he's some big six-year-olds out there, AC. Yeah. Number three's a big kid. That's uh Swinson. Number three for the uh, yeah. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. Look at he good too. Oh, man. He might conduct that AC. He, he might could, move yeah. the goal up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Clinch Black takes the lead two to nothing. Here comes Clinch Gray now. That's number eight for Clinch Gray. That is Nathan Talbert. All right, here comes number two. That's Harrison Edwards. That's Coach Jeremy's boy, ain't it? Yes, yeah. Uh huh. You can tell. Yes, he looks like Edwards. Yes, now. Like Coach Edwards. <laughs> Andrews bringing the ball down for Clinch Gray. You get it over to number six. That's uh, and Williams. One. And one. And one. Yep. He's going to be a big ball player, too, number six. Mm -hmm. That's his son? Yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> he get out there and play with his brother with um with um Tyrone Nephews, uh, uh -huh. Turtle. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be tough. Yeah. Then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With him and Amir, the little Swanson kid, both of them, they, they live right across the street from each other. Yeah. They, I'm telling you. But that, that's that's where you get it from, that's though, right. man. That's right. That's right. When I lived on Sand Hill, every day I went home, they, they'll be in the yard. That's I don't care right. how hard it is. Well, that's how, how we was when we were kids. Mm -hmm. You'd stay in the house and, and play them games. Mm -hmm. But you could tell the ones that actually get out there. Good shot there, number three. That's Jamari Swinson again. Oh, yeah, you can tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number six back down. Oh, he missed that one. Good rebound in there by number two. That's no, that's number one. That's Johnson. Number four with the rebound. That's Crosby. He looking. He gonna throw one up. Good pass. He got it to the big man down low. <laughs> Another basket by Swenson. Six to three. Clinch Black on top of Clinch Gray. Andrews with the ball. He's going to drive in. Bring out, 
Man, he lost his shoe. Number seven for the gray team now bringing in. That is Sarah Toll. Dribbling that thing. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they got out of the way of that pass, they see. <laughs> Here comes Edwards bringing it down for the clinch black team. Get it to Swenson. Off the rim. Andrews with the rebound. Here comes Clinch Gray now. Good dribbling there by Andrews. Here comes Clinch Black back on the other end. Now that's number one. That's Johnson bringing it down. Toll got him covered up. They get it to Kite. Kite's going to pass it. Good job. Number four, and he got it in. That's Crosby with the basket. Good ball work. Comes the gray team back down. Clinch Black up now eight to three, and that's the end of the first quarter. We'll be back in 60 seconds. happen. When they do, call them at Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjones.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue. We back. I'm trying to swallow some popcorn here. Ugh. You can't come to the gym without getting a bag of popcorn. We're fitting to start the second quarter, and Clinch Black is up on Clinch Gray, eight to three. All right, here comes the little one. It's her turn to bring the ball down. <laughs> That's number five for Clinch Black. That's Miss Johnson, Isis, Isis. Isis Johnson. She's pretty she can be. They know not to come and mess with her. <laughs> she. Oh, she's trying to get it to Swenson. She knows who, who can score. Yeah. See that? <laughs> Here comes Clinch Gray down the court. That is number two. That's Andrews. Jarius Andrews. Oh, boom. Good shot. Yes, there. sir. Yes, see sir. That? Number mm -hmm. six. Mm -hmm. Nathan Tubb. Mm -hmm. He the only one that's got some real size that can actually, ooh, Actually, uh, can can kind of play with Swanson. That's right. Boy, you lucked out not putting them two on the same team. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You've been getting fussed at every night. Well, the, the crazy thing about Swanson, I mean, he probably could have played seven, eight, but it was his first year playing. His, his mom That's was right. kind of skeptical about it. You know, she was kind of scared for him. I said, well, we'll just, so we'll just try it out and just see how it work out. Uh, you know, if we need to make changes, we'll make changes. He'll be ready next year. Yeah, he will, yeah. And I'm telling you, he might be better than some of, the, some of them right now. I mean, mm -hmm. That's right. Well, he, I ain't going to say better, but he can play with them. I, I know he can play That's with right. them. I wouldn't say better. He is number eight. That's Halbert again with a basket. That's going to tighten it up a one-point game now. <laughs> Tom was on fire. <laughs> eight to seven. <laughs> yes, sir. We got another little one in. They see, I don't, he don't have a number. I'm trying to see who that was. That's all. Um, that's Mylon. That's um. That's the that's the little kid you you had. He ain't got a number on the the Mylon. Miles Gainers. Miles Gainers. Gainers. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He got that bulldog jersey on. Yeah. Hi. 
That's number two with the ball for Clinch Gray. That's Andrews up and in. Good shot. Clinch Gray done come back and took the lead. Nine to eight now. Two minutes and 35 seconds to play in the first half. Swenson with a shot. Won't go. Here comes Clinch Gray back down to Zinn. That's number two. That's Andrews. Oh, Jarius. In and out. In and out. In and out. Can't get it to fall. Got his own rebound, though. He give it up to Talbert. Too hard, Swenson with the rebound. Here comes Swenson on this end. Coast to coast. All the way, lays it up and one. And lost his shoe, or one of them did. <laughs> Good shot by Swenson. The Clinch Gray team, you have Jordan Andrews, Jarius Andrews, Ava Hunter, Lyme McCutcheon, Miles Gaines, Ryan Williams, Sarah Toe, and Nathan Talbert. Clinch Black, you got Brandon Johnson, Harrison Edwards, Jamari Swinson, Kaysen Crosby, Ice Johnson, Emma Kite, Tyrone Carter, Peyton Delk, and Ivy Morris. That's the two teams that are playing. 11 to nine. Boom, there it is again. <laughs> Talbert putting on the show tonight. Yeah, yeah, That's about yeah. eight point for him. He matching the energy with Swenson right here. They neighbors, they live right yeah. down the street from each other. <laughs> get bragging rights in the morning at recess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We got a foul. Let's see what Doreen. I don't. Who's the little one right there without a number? AC with the pretty one, the pretty little girl with the long um, hair. Um, that's that's um, the, um that's Ivy Mars. A Ivy Mars. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the run, the run daughter. Is it? Mm -hmm. Man, I do feel old now. <laughs> Ron turned in a good, good coach. I watched him a while ago. Uh, Dad practice. He's coaching in twelve-year-old Danny. To Ron, AC, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. he does a good job. Yeah, him, and did, James yeah, him and James, James man, yeah, they, yeah. They, they jam up coaches. Tell you, man, they've been with me from day one. I'm telling you, they ain't been nothing but a blessing in the sky to have them do that, man. Yeah, they mm -hmm. do a great job. Mm -hmm. Come Swenson on the other end, lays it up. Oh, didn't get the roll. Andrews gonna bring it back down for the clinch gray. We under 30 seconds, two point game. <laughs> Andrews got a timeout. He lost his shoe. <laughs> oh, uh. Here we go. Andrews driving. He's going to throw it up. Can't get it. Swinson with the ball. 15 seconds. Coast to coast. Cole might take it from him. He doesn't. Good block there by Talbert. They'll lose it, so it comes Gray back. Seven, six, four seconds. Two seconds. Shoot. Mm. He does. Too much. So that'll get us to halftime. Now all these will take a turn shooting too, right, AC? Mm -hmm. yeah, everybody shooting too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody will shoot. It's a two-point game, 13 to 11 right now. Daniel, would it be you want to just, you want to yeah. just do one one at one at one at a time? Yeah, if that's all right, I see. Okay, all right. They got the black set up down here now. Dari, he said he can't do both of them at the same time. Just do one. Let's just roll them through. He said he can't do both of them at the same time. Yeah, we're we'll getting trouble. <laughs> They showed my young and didn't show that other. Oh, we're getting in trouble. We got to show them all. Number four for the black team will shoot first. Nope. Ice. Isis is going to shoot first. Number five. Isis Johnson. Miss Doreen is a. Uh, is uh, counting the players. Make sure all of them's even.
Casey wants another ball. And she'll get one for Isis. See if that little one can throw it up there, baby. There you go. Oh, almost. It went out. Let's see if she can get her next one. Get it up there. There it is. Isis with the basket. Good shot. Number four shooting, that is Cason Crosby. Now, he didn't add that point, AC. Huh? Isis hit one point. He probably going to put all of them back oh, one well, time. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. CC CC count them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Harrison Edwards is shooting now. That's Coach Jeremy's boy. Here comes the Kite. Let's see if that pretty little thing will make hers. Boom. Good shot. All right. Got both of them. Good shot by Kite. Carter up to shoot now. That's Tadpole's son. That's Tadpole. Yeah. Got to be Tyrone yeah. Carter. You know he's going to be a ball player. Yeah. <laughs> you don't Tadpole don't come referee no more? He do. Um, he just. Oh. He kind of get caught up with, with coaching and all that. That's so. right. Well, he coaches the varsity and the JV coach, and between that and work, man, it get you know how that is, man. Number one at the basket. Oh, that is Johnson. Good shot by Johnson. Second one, no good. Peyton Delk up to shoot now for the black team. Got it. Good shot by Peyton. Second shot on the way. He got that one too. Swenson up. Oh, I ain't believing he missed that. <laughs> he can only make it when there's 10 head hanging on him. There you go. Swenson will make the other one. Well, they scored nine, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 points, they see. It was 10. It was, remember, they had 13. Oh, 10, 13, man. They, they hit 10, yeah. Great bunch is going to have to hit theirs to catch up. Yeah. That's what I like about this. I mean, especially if somebody's struggling early. That's right. make the free throw, they got a chance to get back in the game. You know? so. I did the, the real, real small with that struggle. I, I pick them up. That's let right. Them shoot. That's right. Hey. Toll is shooting. She'll miss her first one. That's Sarah Toll for the gray team, number seven. Second shot. She's getting her dribbling in. Oh, oh. baby, almost. Does she normally make it, too? Mm -hmm. Now we got Miles Gaines up to shoot now. Scoochie will pick him up. There's one. Don't you get him up one more time? Oh, he missed that. They gonna do a do over. He got miss that. Miss. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is Andrews. Jarius Andrews got it. Good shot. Mylon want him another. Um, Gaines yeah. want him another shot. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, both of them. Good shooting there by Jarius. Number four, that's Lime McCutcheon. He got, is he from DuPont? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's from the good neck of the woods over there. That's good right. shot, McCutcheon. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, you got Talbert up to shoot that note. They're going to slide number three up. Ava Hunter will take her shot now. Pretty mm. little girl, almost. There is mm. Talbert. He'll miss his first one. Oh, got a second one. He's going to shoot more to balance it out. He'll miss his third one. Got one more coming in. Hit that one. Good job. All right, number one is coming up, Jordan Andrews. 
Oh, oh, he missed that one. Jordan going to take his second one in and out. Couldn't get it to go. He got two more. Got that one. Good shot by Jordan. Got that one. Good job. So that's going to end up halftime. We're going to run a commercial and be back in 60 seconds. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia, is your one-stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. All right, everybody, we're back live here on Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Got Daniel Munoz working the camera, and my buddy AC Cooper, the Homerville Clinch County Recreation Director. Twenty-three to eighteen, Clinch Black is ahead. Gainus won't stay in. <laughs> Tie a piece of rope around him. <laughs> oh man! I'd like to have that much energy, wouldn't you? I know, right? All right, number four with the ball. That's McCutcheon from Dupont. He's gonna give it off to number two, and that is Andrews, Jarius Andrews. Here comes Clinch Black on the other end. At number one, that's Johnson, Bra Braden Johnson. Good defense by Toll. They get it to Swinston, in and out. Number four, that was uh, Crosby with the rebound, but he'll lose it. They get it to Talbert. Big man Talbert's going to run down and lay it up. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> 23 to 20 now. <laughs> Crosby's going to throw it into Swenson. Swenson looking. He'll throw it up. Couldn't get it. Talbert had it. Crosby will get the rebound. He's going to look. Trying to get it to Swenson. Look out. Andrews has it. He's coming down the other way. Edwards all over him. Andrews will lose it out of bounds. Cott will bring it down for the clinch black. Right after this game, we're going to have the 10 and under girls play, so y'all don't go nowhere. Eight first. Eight and, eight and under, eight, then eight, 10, 10 and 10, under, uh -huh. then 12 and under. We got three more games after this one, so y'all don't go nowhere. Okay. Fine. And then once again, Thursday, we'll be right back here with the boys. And then Friday, we got Folkston in Charlton County Friday night. Yes, I think so. At home, and we got Atkinson County Saturday night at home. That's going to be a big game Friday night, yes, AC, is, man. for I, the I boys. Hope, if the I boys win some, that mm -hmm. and win out, they can host the region tournament. That'll be good. I sure hope we can pull it off. Oh, man. Still got to go to Turner, though. Yeah. Hard to win in Turner. Hey, Here. I tell you what, what Tubbett is on fire, man, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. Man, they got a great coach over there at Turner. Mm -hmm. The girls team, yeah. they have got a coach. Mm -hmm. uh, she does a great job. I talked to her before the game. Uh, you know, but, but and you look at our girls, they see, might have done us some good to get beat. Yeah. And I said that the same thing. Same you know thing. how you get, you win, and then you keep saying, well, you know, then you get kind of nervous. Well, it's tonight, the night yeah. we're going to yeah. lose. And now you don't have to worry about that. Well, the good thing about it, I mean, Losing now don't hurt you. No, much. that's Losing right. Losing later. I mean, that's especially, right. I mean, At the end of the day, it's mm -hmm. going to be Turner and Clinch yeah, yeah, playing somewhere. Yeah. To yeah. win the title, you're mm -hmm. going to have to beat Turner. Yep, I, I agree. I mean, I, I and you got Lake Oconee and them other, but Turner will be there. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Just like the Lady Panthers should be there, too. Yeah, I, I like our team. I, I think. Yeah, we, man. We got we got a really good team. I mean, you know, I got a chance to go talk with them a couple, about a week or so ago. Just talking to them about, you know, about playing together and, you know, just 
Everybody trying to accomplish the same thing, you know. I mean, wanting to win this title. Well, man, it looks like they're playing be better as a team now than they have all year. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. Passing the ball. I mean, yeah. they, they're just doing it, doing real good. Coach Chase and Coach Doreen and Coach J.D., they do a great job with the girls' varsity. And that's good to have your varsity coaches out here at the rec park. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know uh, Coach Terrence George, when his little ones was out here, you know, he was out here coach too. Man, we got a ball game. It's 24 to 24 with 50 seconds left in the third. Edwards going to dribble down, throws it up off the thing. Off the rim. Here comes Talbert. Back down, head fake. He's going to roll to his right, twist and turn, throws it up, almost <laughs> went in. <laughs> Edwards with the ball. Edwards back down this end. A head fake. He'll throw it up, can't get it. Talbert with another rebound. Now right, this time he'll give it to Andrews. Andrews going good move by Andrews back out to Talbert. Talbert tired. <laughs> hey, hey, run yeah. up and down. I'm giving out. out. I'm watching. Yeah, <laughs> running out of gas. Lynch Gray, that's Andrews. Jarius Andrews. There goes Talbert to throw one up. No, he got it to Andrews. Can't get it. And that's going to do it. After three quarters of basketball, we're all tied up 24 apiece. We'll take a break and be back in six seconds. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. All right, everyone, we're back for the fourth period. Five minutes to go. That's got to be a Carter. That's Tyrone. That's little tadpole. Number seven for the black team bringing it down. He's going to run across the court. <laughs> that happens every night, AC. <laughs> mm. uh oh, Gaines is in the game now. He's rested up. He wants some action. Ivy with the ball up. They're going to get it. That's a good steal there by Andrews. Andrews coming back. Swinson will pick him up. Andrews will get it off. Almost got it. Here comes Swinson back on the other end. Behind his back. Up and in. Boy, there's a move. He's putting on the show. 26-24 now. Clinch Black on top. Let's see if Clinch Gray can answer the score here. Andrew dribbling to his right. Good defense over there by Clinch Black. Andrews can't get it to go. There's Swinson with another rebound. They see him. They come. He dribbles past Toll. Throws it up. Can't get it. Got his own rebound. Up and in. 28-24. Coach uh, Clinch Gray said we want a timeout. I think he's gonna make a make a sub. <laughs> Man. The gray team said we're ready to play. We don't need no break. There comes another one of your referees, Coach Jimmy. He does a good job, man. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, yeah. He still coach out here at Rec Park yeah, for you, 2AC. Yeah. Yeah. Does a good job. Tell him we got them replays tonight. He can't mess up tonight <laughs> now. Jimmy, don't mess up tonight. We got you on the, we got the eye in the sky. Don't <laughs> lie now. <laughs> hey. Bro. Bro. Soon as hey, soon as the game over, you need to take them gold down and let them up to 86. So, AC, you will, this is six foot right here, right? That's, yeah, probably so, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And then you'll move up to eight foot for the next age group. Move it to eight six, eight six, eight foot eight, six. six. Uh -huh. Nick, the great team making a run there. Number two. Oh, almost got it in. That was Jarius Andrews. Here comes Swenson back the other way for Clinch Black. Oh, he'll lay it down. Here comes Andrews back the other way. We got one fell out the shoe, one down, AC. He did come down pretty hard. Maybe it just knocked the air out of him. Miss Doreen and the coaches, AC, going to walk out there and check on him. Nope, they got him up, AC. Is that Mama? Yeah. They all right when Mama. A lot of them want Mama to come get them. <laughs> you never stop Mama, neither. <laughs> Let her go get him. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Hey, when Mama wants to come get that baby, let him. All right, here comes Swenson back down this end. Oh, Toe almost had one. Swenson will throw it up. Can't get it to fall. Talbert had it. Let's see. 2.45 to play. Clock running. The gray team is down by four. Here comes Clinch Black back down on this end. They got possession of the ball. Got a good crowd here tonight, AC. Yeah, they, I'm telling you, man, a lot of folks, they support the real. They support everybody, but the real look here is everybody. Oh, man, I'm telling you. That's Marcus like T-ball, man. I see all that. Yeah. Yeah. Flag football, Flag football T-ball, yeah. and this in basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll run out of hot dogs and popcorn. <laughs> Coach Red don't come out here no more. He got the mask up. <laughs> oh, no, he, yeah, he, he, um, yeah, he done taking him a break. He's taking him a break. Oh, good layup yeah, he there. he done taking him a break, yeah. Did he get over his foot surgery? Yeah, he finally got better. He actually, I've stopped he been by. Out there. Man, he been, he been about to go crazy and not being able to do nothing. Well, I've stopped by two or three times. Yeah, this truck he, hadn't been, he home, been home, so yeah. I'm, maybe I'll catch him uh, one day this week. I remember one time I put Coach Red on the clock. He did that but one time, man. <laughs> <laughs> he said he wasn't running that clock anymore. <laughs> I, I would mess with another. I said, man, I need you to referee. Oh, man, I, think, yeah. no, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't do that. Yes, sir. There's that pretty thing. Throw it up there, baby. Number five. <laughs> oh, they got it taken from her. Oh, look, look, look. That was Isis <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> throw it up there, number four. Throw it up. No, he didn't want to throw it up because that, that child yeah. got in front of her. That's Crosby. No, that ain't Crosby. That's McCutcheon from DuPont. He tied, Nate. Oh, out of bounds. He tied. Yeah, yeah. he tied. Yeah, big man's tired now. <laughs> That's going to help him out. Tadpole. Little tadpole said he don't care coming down and throw one up. Justin. Justin. <laughs> it's 28 to 26. <laughs> we got a chance to go to hey, overtime this right here. Too, so we'll, we'll be able to go back and look at this. Hey. <laughs> Andrews with the ball. He can tie it up. Oh, he lost it out of bounds, man. Good defense there by number eight for the black. That is Peyton. Dale. Man, that might have done it. 28-26. Here comes Swenson on the other end. Talbert knocked it oh, out no, of bounds. They got a chance. They got a chance. They got a chance. Got to go. 20 you seconds. Go. You got to go. Here we go. You got to go. Go. That's it. 20 seconds. Clock running. They can tie it up. Andrews. He's going to dribble through Swenson. Throws it up. Oh, ah. can't get it. Swenson with the ball. <laughs> 10 seconds. You think he's going to hold it, AC? No, he's going to Michael Jordan. He got his own rebound. Up and in. That's going to do it with Clinch Black beating Clinch Great 30 to 26. We're going to take a break, run some ads. We'll be back just a second. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to
to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville, Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities, and bonds. Lutz, Brown, Piegler, and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Accidents happen. When they do, call on the Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines, and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjones.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. All right, we're here. They're warming up, getting ready for the next game. We're going to get a shot. Let's see if we can get a shot of the crowd. Got a good crowd over here. And some of the it's Coach Jeremy Edwards, Miss Edwards, and Coach Jeremy's lovely wife. There's the head panther, Coach Chase. His bunch. Let's come on around. There's my buddy, little Richard and Pam. He comes over there. Come on around. I'm sorry for the Daniel. I have to fix the. There we go. Let's see if we can back it up now a little bit. Let's watch him warm up. This is the Clinch White warming up. Getting ready now. This will be the eight and under. Coach Murray, she does a great job. Coaches softball. She'd even coach football too and be a great football coach, I'm sure. What are we doing? There we go. All right, Daniel had to run, take care of something, so I'm going to run the camera and try to announce some of the games. 
We got Coach Jimmy Andrews and Miss Doreen still on the referee right here. Red will have the ball first. Coach Red, as we have Jay Ganey. Dayton Hillman, Annie Dixon, Madison Pitts, Isabella. I have to get AC to read this hand right in one of the little ones. Here we go. Clint Red with the ball first. He'll pass it around. Looking. This is eight and under basketball. Clinch White with the ball now. This is the eight and under. She's gonna pass it, got it to the middle. Number three, she'll put it up, can't get it. That's Clinch White with the ball. That was Murray with the ball. She'll throw it up. Red team will steal it. Here comes Clinch Red back down to the end. That's number four with the ball, and that is Annie Dixon. She's going to throw it up. She got it to number two, which is Miss Johnson, Emma Johnson. Got it to number three there. That's Dayton Hillman. Good job, number 10 for Clinch White. will take the ball. And that is Callie Tyner. They're going to hand it out. They finally get number 10. Tyner's got it. We got a jump ball. Let's see who's going to have it. It's going to go back to Clinch Red. Nope, they said Clinch White. Tyner will bring it in, and she's going to get it to Murray, number one. All right, they're trying to hit number two. That's Thomas. With the ball, we're coming back on this end. I got the camera all crooked. I don't know what you've done, Daniel. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can get untangled and let the professional cameraman back up there. There we go. Well, it kept, it was, it was lopsided. I tried to straighten it. All right, number 12, Clinch White with the ball. Number 12 is Jamani Andrews, and she'll make the basket. Good basket there by Clinch White. Clinch White on top, two to nothing. All right, here comes Clinch Red down the court. Emma Johnson will bring it down, number two. He's going to dribble. Look, good job there. Number 10 will steal it. That's Callie Tyner. Here she comes back on the other end. Trying to get it to number one. The red team will steal it right back. Good job, number three for the clinch red. That is Dayton Hillman. She'll bring it down. Looking for some help. Doreen's trying to back him up in the circle. She'll get him back. We got a sub coming in. Number four for Clinch White will come in. That is, let me see right here, Elena Malik. They're going to Clinch Red. They give it to number two. She's looking for a shot. They got her all wrapped up down here. That's number two. That's Emma Johnson. She needs some help. She's looking, looking, trying to find. Tyner will reach in and grab the ball. We got a jump ball. Oh, 
Oh, good steal there by Quince White. Jamani, Jamani Andrews. She's going to get it to number three. Oh, she almost had a shot. She keeps it. She got one off. That was Nora Daniel. Daniels. That's Coach Chase Daniels' daughter. Good job, Nora. All right, I think we got a foul shot. That Nora is going to be on the free throw line. She's trying to make a three-point play here. All right, Nora at the free throw line. Want to throw it up off the rim. Almost got it. Here comes Clint Red now, number two. That's Emma Johnson bringing it down. Dribbles through. She'll lose it. Tyner has the ball now. She's going to dribble down. Number one for Clint White will take it now. That's Murray, Carly Murray. We got another jump ball. White team has it. Carly will bring it down. She'll get it over to number three. That's Nora. Nora looking, trying to get a shot off. She'll pass it to Andrews, and she's going to score. Good shot by Andrews. Clinch White up six to nothing, and that's it. After one quarter, Clinch White leads Clinch Red six to nothing. We'll be back in six seconds. Accidents happen. When they do, call on the Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjones.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. TV, me and Daniel Munoz, Alan Henley and Daniel, we're here watching some eight and under girls basketball. This is game three. We have five games tonight. Clinch White leading Clinch Red six to nothing. Clinch Red can't buy a basket. There's a shot up. Oh, almost went in. That was number two. Emma Johnson with the shot. It rolled around. See who got the foul here. Number 10 is at the free throw. Isabella Henley at the free throw line. All right, Isabella. First shot on the way. Off the backboard. Got it. Good shot for Isabella. Six to one now. She put the red team on the board. Second free throw up, off the rim, can't get it. Red had it, they'll lose it. White has the ball, Nora has it. She's going to tie it up and take it away. Here comes Nora. Oh, she'll lose it. Tyner will pick it up. Number four for the Red will reach in and grab it. That's Dixon, Annie Dixon. She's seen it and she said she wanted it. Jump ball, White has the possession. Tyner's going to bring it back down for Clinch White. You get it over to number two, that's Thomas. Good pass to, oh, down there, miss it. That was number three, that's Nora. Almost had it. Trying to get it back to Nora. The red team will take it. Here comes Clinch Red now. Number two, bringing it down. That's Johnson, Emma Johnson. Looking, oh, Tyner had it. Number 12 will pick it up. 
Here comes Clinch White. That's Andrews, Jamani Andrews. She's going to shoot it off the rim. Can't get it. Got her own rebound. She'll try it again. Nora with the ball. She'll throw it up. Or, excuse me, that was Malik with the ball. Elena Malik. Here comes Clint White. We got a sub coming in. Timeout, Clint Red. 3.31 to play in the second. I guess we can run a 30 second ad. Daniel, we'll be back in 30 seconds. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Henley. Here we go with eight and under girls basketball. Got a great game at six to one. Clint's wide up. There's a shot by Clint Red. Red with the rebound. She'll throw it up. And she'll get fouled. That was number four. That's Annie Dixon. She'll go to the free throw line for Clint Red. All right, Annie at the free throw line. Here we go. All right, Annie, take your time, baby. First shot on the way. Got it. Almost went in. It just rolled out. Take your time. Second shot up off the backboard. Almost got it. It'll go out of bounds. Good rebound in there by Pitts. Madison Pitts. She'll throw it up. Oh, good steal by number 12. That's uh, Andrew. She's going to come all the way down and a basket. Eight to one now. White team on top. Two minutes to play in the first half. Emma bringing it down for Clinch Red. He's looking, she's gonna get it over to number five. That's Pitts, Madison Pitts. They had it, they'll lose it. Let's see, white team has possession. Isabella went right off her fingertips. Here comes Clinch White now. Murray bringing it down. She'll look, she'll throw it over to the left. Got it to Andrews. Red team all over Andrews. They're going to get a good block there. Here comes number two. Back down, that's Johnson with the ball. Looking, looking, Murray trying to tie her up. Jump ball, she will. Red will keep possession. Red's got to bring it in. Number four, bring it in. That's Andy Dixon will bring it in. She'll get it over to Emma Johnson. Emma's going to dribble around. Madison's got the ball over there. She's dribbling around looking for a shot. She's going to throw it into number 10. That's Isabella. It's going to go out of bounds. Eight to one, 28 seconds to play. Here come the white team. Murray's gonna bring it down, clock's running. Murray will pass it over to Andrews off the basket, can't get it, red team with the rebound. Good job there by Dixon. And he bringing it down now, 10 seconds. She'll get it over to Tyner. Or Emma Johnson, excuse me, she'll miss it. And that's going to get us to halftime. 
I think all of them will shoot a free throw too, I think. Yep. They're going to line up and shoot the free throws. I guess they do. One. See if Doreen, we can do one side at a time. All right, the clinch. White will go first. So Miss Murray is first, number one for Clinch White. Coach Jessica put them in line. She does a great job. Jimmy. Hang on. Jimmy. They go do one at a time. All right, Murray's second shot on the way. Off the back of the rim. All right, that'll bring up number 10, Callie Tyner for the Clinch White team. Her first shot almost went in. Oh, you getting ready. She going to throw it up just a little short. That'll bring up number three, Nora Daniels. She hit a basket earlier. Her first shot off the front of the rim. Almost made it. Second shot on the way for Nora. Got it. Almost. Just a little short. So that'll bring up number two. Kirsten Thomas. Good shot by Miss Thomas. Nothing but net. Second shot for Kirsten, up and in, good job. That'll bring up number four, Elena Malik. She'll throw it up, oh, just a little to the left, baby. Second shot on the way, oh, almost a little short. Now number 12, Jamani Andrews, Jamani. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She'll miss her first one. Second free throw on the way. In and out. Almost got it. Good job by the white team. They hit three or four. Doreen said three. All right, now Clinch Red. First up, number five for Clinch Red. That's Madison Pitts. Second shot, a little to the right. That'll bring number 10 up, Isabella Henley. First shot on the way, just a little short for Isabella. Second one, oh, in and out. All right, number one, Jay Ganey. Line her up. Now she's ready. First shot, just a little short. Second shot on the way. Good shot by Ganey. Great job. Number three, Dayton Hillman up to shoot now for the red team. Got it. Good shot by Hillman. Second one almost went in. All right, that'll bring up Annie Dixon, number four for the Clinch Red team. Her first shot, oh, almost. Second shot on the way for Annie. Got it. Oh, in and out. Couldn't stay. All right, that'll bring up number two. That's Emma Johnson. She'll miss her first one. Second one on the way. Oh, almost. Well, that's going to do the free throws. So we'll take a 30-second break and be back in just a second. 
Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. All right, everyone, we're back here to second half of the eight and under girls basketball. Clinch White leading 10 to 3. Good job, Clinch Red will steal it. Here they come. On the other end, number two, Emma Johnson, all the way. She'll draw a foul. Let's see, she'll go to the free throw line. Clinch Red needs to hit these. Emma at the free throw line. There's the first one up and in. Good shot for Emma. Ten to four now. Second shot on the way. Can't get it. Red team, she got her own rebound. Throw it back up. She will. Can't get it to go. Dixon will put it up. She can't get it to go. Pitts with the rebound now. Good job by Pitts. He's dribbling around, trying to get it to Emma. Can't. They get it to number one instead. That's Ganey. Ganey with the miss. Here comes Clint White now. Malik bringing it down. She'll throw it over to Murray. Murray will get it to Tyner, number 10. She's looking, looking. Red will reach in. Jump ball, so Clint White has it. Here comes Clint Red now. Back on the other end, that's number two. She shot it, went to go out of bounds. That was Emma. Here comes Clinch White now. Callie Tanner will bring it in. He'll bring it in to Murray, and Murray will dribble down. Four minutes to play in the third. Ten to four. Clinch White's ahead. Red will tie it up. Ain't gonna take it away from Nor. She wasn't gonna let go of that thing. Tyner will bring it in. She'll get it to Murray. They get it to Nor. Nor looking, looking. She's gonna make a move to the left. Throws it up off the front of the rim. Almost went in. Good rebound in there by Murray. Got it down. Good steal there by Pitts. Number 10, no, that's Isabella, number 10. Good job by Henley. Going to throw it over to number two. That is Emma. Emma was driving in a lot of hands there. Jump ball. Clinch White has the ball now. Murray bringing it down. He's going to throw it over to Noah. Noah makes a move inside. Lost it. Here comes Emma back down for Clint Red. She had it. She's going to throw it up. Oh, almost went in. Rebound over there, number 10. That was Isabella. She took it. Isabella bring it in from the top of the key. He dribbles over, trying to get it over to number three. Couldn't get it, they'll lose it. Here comes Clint Red back down. It's 10 to four. Clint wide on top. 150 to play in the third. Isabella will bring it in, and she'll give it up to Emma Johnson. Emma's dribbling down. They'll pick her up. Murray will at the free throw line. Pitts will save it. 
Pitts has it. She's going to try to pass to number one. That was Ganey. Good job. Andrews with the ball. She'll dribble down and throws it up. Rebound in there by Emma. Here comes Emma. Back down for the red team. She's going to take it all the way. Throws it up. Up and in. Ten to six now. Number 10 will check in for the clinch white. That is Callie Tyner. Murray bringing it down for clinch white. Got it to Nora. Nora looks. She's going to dribble in and throws it up off the backboard. Almost went. Murray will throw it up now. Good shot by Murray up and in. 12 to 6 now. Clinch Red bringing it back down. 38, 37 seconds. Good steal there by Nora. Here comes Nora on the other end. She's going to dribble all the way. Throws it up. Just a little off. <laughs> we got them fighting over the ball. Let's see. 21 seconds. Clock's running. Clinch White, 15 seconds. You better go, Murray. Murray with the ball, 10 seconds. Dribbling around, they're gonna get it, trying to get a good job there by Emma with the steal. Here comes Emma. Clint Red, shoot it, shoot it. Oh, Murray with the steal. So after three quarters, it's Clint Red 12. No, Clint White 12, Clint Red 6. We'll be back in six seconds. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. All right, here we go. The fourth and final period. Clinch White leading 12 to 6 over Clinch Red. Clinch Red has the ball. All right, here we go. Number four for Clinch Red bringing it down. That's Annie Dixon. She's going to give it up to number 10, Isabella. Oh, they were trying to pass it down low. Good job. Andrews with the ball now for Clinch White. All the way down. She'll miss it. Got her rebound up and in. Good shot by Andrews. Here we go. Clinch Red. It's 14 to 6 now. Here comes Clinch Red back down the court. Dixon with the ball. She's going to set up the offense. Looking for an open man. Good bounce pass to the right. Isabella back trying to get it to Dixon. Good, good steal by number 10 for Clinch White. That's uh, Tyner. Tyner's going to give it up to Murray. Murray looking for a shot. Great defense by Clinch Red. I get it back to Tyner. She's looking for a shot. Murray trying to get it. Murray will throw it up. Can't get it to go. Clinch Red with the rebound. Here we go, number five. Madison Pitts bringing it down for Clinch Red. She's looking for an open man. Good defense by Clinch White. Nor got it, lost it. Number two had it, good job. They were trying to get it to Ganey. All right, we got a sub. Elena Malik, Malik comes in for Murray. All right, Dixon with the ball. She's looking for the open man. 
Got to keep them back. They get it over to Pitts. Pitts looking, trying to get it down low. Good pass. They got it to number three. That's Hillman. We got a jump ball. White with the ball now. Here comes Clinch White. Tyner will bring it in. She'll get it over to number 12, Andrews. Andrews will dribble down the court for Clinch White. Three minutes and 20 seconds to play in the game. 14 to six, Clinch White up on top. They get it to Tyner. Tyner looking, looking, trying to find somebody open. She will. She'll get it over to number four, Malik. Elena looking. She'll throw it up. Pitts with the ball now for Clinch Red. No, oh, she's faked him out, started to shoot at the other goal. She's coming down this way. Pitts looking, she's gonna throw it over there. There's Noah. She got to get in the circle, Doreen says. That's gonna go out of bounds. Clinch Red keeps possession. Noah will take a break now. We got Murray back in the game. Here we go, Dixon with the ball, looking. Needs some help. She's going to get it to the middle. Good pass by Dixon off the backboard. Can't get it to go. Good shot there by Thomas. Or not Thomas, I'm sorry, that was uh, Johnson. Emma almost got the basket. Here comes Clinch White now. Murray bringing it down. He low, she's gonna find uh, Elena. We got a jump ball. It'll go to Clinch Red. Good job there by number three, Dayton Hillman. Hillman with the ball, looking. She's gonna get it over to Pitts. Pitts looking. Does a head fake, the ball will go out of bounds. Look, they get it in, they're gonna shoot, can't get it. Rebound in there, number 10, that's Isabella. She'll lose it, here comes Andrews, down the court for Clinch White. Look at the head fake, she'll throw it up. Can't get it, Murray with the rebound. Emma almost got the steal. They get it to number three, Nora. Noah dribbling around, she'll lose it. Emma with the ball. Here comes Clinch Red now. One minute to play. Emma off the backboard. It will not go in. Andrews with the rebound. Here comes Clinch White back down this end. Andrews looking for some help. Good defense by Clinch Red. They get it into Murray. Murray, we're going to have a jump ball. Clinch White with the ball. Clock is stopped with 42 seconds to play. Murray into Nora. Nora's going to dribble up. Looking, Andrews will get it. She's looking around. Good head move. She'll throw it up. It won't go. Pitts fighting for the rebound out of bounds. No, Murray saves it. All right, here comes Clinch Red. Emma dribbling from one end to the other. Good fake. She was trying to pass it down low. Clinch White with the ball now. Here comes Murray back on this end. Murray dribbling around. She'll lose it out of bounds. Clinch Red has it now. Hillman will bring it down for Clinch Red. Nine seconds, eight seconds, six seconds, five seconds. Pitts has it. Nord's going to take it. No, that's not Nord. Excuse me, that's number four. Elena, and that's going to do it. Clinch White, 14. Clinch Red, six. We're going to take a break and come back for your 10 and under. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. 
from large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including the perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar & Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. 
In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Home. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2359 to schedule yours today. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. All right, there we go. We're locked in now. This is 10 and under. My buddy AC back with me. He has to get up and do a little bit of work every now and then. <laughs> Some good basketball. I'm all tied in a knot. There we go. I get it. That's as good as we can get it. We got Clint Red and Clint White. This is the 10 and under girls. Good job there. That's Clint Red, number five. That's Delk, Ella Cake Delk. He'll lose it, give it over to number 12 for the white. That is Treywick. They'll get it out to Bill Corbett. Bella, is that how you pronounce that, AC? Bella, uh-huh. Bella. Mm -hmm. Get it! Treywick can give it up. There's a good steal there. Number five. Ellicate Dell. She'll bring it in. She's going to give it up to number 12. Joiner Elise. They'll throw it over to number two. And it's red with the ball. They're fighting for it. Number 11 will throw it up. Can't get it to fall. Rebound in there, number 12 for the white. That's Treywick. He's coming all the way down. They throw it over to number 10. That's Wheeler. Kamar and Wheeler. Cameron Wheeler, excuse me. Carmen. 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 Carmen yeah. Number 11. That's uh, Reeves. Back to Corbett. Corbett was trying to get it to Reeves in the middle. Be a turnover. Number 52, that's uh, McQuig. Hey, she going to steal the ball, ain't she? Yeah, she'll get it. She hustles, man. She hustles. She, hey, love, she yes, absolutely sir. love it, too, man. Hey, number 11 for Red, that's uh, Joyner. Edwards with the ball. She'll get it to number four. That's Morris, Dakota Morris. They'll give it back to Joyner, number 11. Back to Edwards. 
Edwards over to Morris. Morris almost had the shot. She'll lose it to number 12, Trawick. Trawick from one end to the other. Got it. Good shot. <laughs> Good shot. It'll go in. Here comes Clint Red, number five. Ella Kay will bring it in. She'll give it up to Joyner. Good battle going down there at them centers. Yeah, I see him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Bells and uh, Bells and um, number twelve for Red. Who is that? That is uh, I don't have a number twelve. Yeah, I do. Morgan. Esty. Esty Morgan. Yeah. That's Esty and um and, and Bells, Bella Corbett going at it down low. Hey man, there's gonna be some hot. Yeah, they, we got some tall girls. That, that number twelve that's on the white team, man. She probably done grew a half a foot since last year. She, she got, I see a lot of potential in the two. All right. Mm -hmm. Now that's Rance's number that's 12, number 12, right? Esther, uh, yep. Esther Morgan. Mm -hmm. Well, we got some subs coming. We got number two for Reds coming in. That's Daisley. Is that right? And number one, my. All right, here we go. The shot on the way off the rim. Can't get it. Daisley with the rebound for Red. She'll get it back to number four. That's Morris. Wide will steal it. Corbett with the ball now. She'll bring it down. Over to number 10. That's Wheeler. Wheeler back out to Edmonds. Back to Wheeler, over to Corbett. Corbett looking for somebody. Good defense by the red team. They get it to number 12. That's Trawick. Trawick could drive in and shoot. Oh, um, Wheeler had it, but she'll lose it out of bounds. Here comes Clinch Red now. Daisley will bring it in. And Mai with the ball now. I'll give it up to number 11. That's Joyner. Back to my. Long pass back over, over the head. That'll go out of bounds. 25 seconds to play in the first. It's two to nothing. Clinch wide on top. Corbett with the ball now. He's looking, looking. They got it over there. Long shot. Number 12 in and out. It'll come out. Wheeler with the ball, she mm. can't get it to fall. Here comes Clinch Red now, six seconds. Number 11 gonna take it all the way, that's Reeves. Can't get it, the clock will run out. So after hey, one quarter, that's, if I messed up something there, I see it, Clinch wide. Hey, just do this. Journey Elise, her name Journey Elise, just say Journey White. Journey White, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And that, after one quarter, it is clinch red, no clinch white, two clinch red, nothing. We'll be back in just a second. This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the game. So please come in and see Dre at Dre Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings. All right, here we back at Creek Box. Clinch White will have the ball to start the second quarter. Number 12 will bring it in. That's Trawick. She'll get it to Corbett. Corbett all the way over to Thomas, Bristol Thomas. Thomas. 
Thomas looking, shoot, throw it. Oh, good steal over there by Clint Red. That's number 11, Jorner White. She'll lose it out of bounds. Corbett will bring it in. Treywick bringing it down the court. Clinch White over to Thomas. Oh, they're trying to get it to Treywick. Treywick again is another steal. Number 11, that's White. Clinch Red will keep possession. They bring it in. Good job. Joyner with the ball now. So you get it over to number one. That's my. Back to Joyner. That's number two. That is Daisley. Good defense by Clinch White. Now number 11 will drive in. Overshot the basket. Red has the rebound. Good job there by number one. That pa Paisley. 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 Paisley yeah. I thought it was a D. I've been calling her Daisley. It looked like a D. Yeah. It looked, it looked like a D. <laughs> Paisley. Thomas with the rebound. We got a jump ball. Let's see who has it. Clinch White with possession. It's only two to nothing. Clinch White up. Corbett will bring it in to number 12, Trawick. Oh, they're going to get it to McQuig, number 52 down here. She'll get it back to Trawick. Trawick driving in. She'll throw one up. Overshot it. Number 11 with the rebound. That is White. Joyner dribbling the ball. Red still has possession. Paisley will bring it in. Got it to Joyner. My with the ball now. Clinch Red needing a basket to tie it up. Good defense by Clinch White. He'll throw it up, can't get it to go. Big rebound by Corbett. Here comes Clinch White now. Back on this end. She'll give it up over to Trawick. Can't get it to go. Rebound number 11. She'll lose it out of bounds, so Clinch White will keep possession. We got some subs coming in. Morgan's in, number 12. Edwards, number two. Morris, number four. And Delk, number five. McQuig with the ball now. She's going to dribble around looking for an open man. She'll throw it over to Thomas. Back over to Morris. Trawick now with the ball for Clint Watt. She's going to dribble in. She'll get it back to McQuig. Got it to Corbett. Long shot. A little short, that'll go out of bounds. Here comes Clinch Red, two to nothing. Clinch wide on top. Number five will bring it in, that's Dale. She'll bring it in and give it up to Joyner, number 11. Joyner over to Edwards. Back to Joyner. Joyner dribbling around. She's going to throw up a long three just off the rim. One minute and 15 <laughs> seconds to play in the first half. Now, will they shoot at halftime, AC? Huh? Do they shoot at halftime? No, free throws? no, 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 no. Yeah, I thought that eight and under. Just... Mm -hmm. There's a long shot. Corbett's going to hit the side of the rim. It had a chance. Good job, number four was dribbling down for red. That's Morris, knocked out of bounds.
Number five, that's Dale could bring it in. And that's Joyner with the ball. She's looking, looking. Clock running now, under 45 seconds. And get it to Morris. Morris will throw it up, can't get it to go. Edwards trying to save it just off her fingertips. Here come Clinch White now, number 12, Trawick bringing it down. You get it over to Corbett. Back to Trawick. Oh, they were trying to get it to Reeves. And that's gonna roll out of bounds with 16 seconds to play. Clinch Red has the ball now. Two to nothing, Clinch White on top. Delka bring it in. They get it to number 11. She's driving in. Joiner with the ball again. Clock running nine seconds, eight seconds. Edwards has it. Edwards will throw it up. Can't get it to go. Corbett with the rebound for Clinch White. Corbett dribbling, and that's going to do it. We got a barn burner going on here in game four. Ten and under, it's Clinch White, two. Clinch Red, nothing. We'll be back in about five minutes. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernand. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. All right, everybody, we're getting ready to start the third quarter of game one, two, three, four. This is game four. This is the 10 and under girls. I want to remind everybody, me and Daniel will be back Thursday for the boys' side at the rec park. Paisley's going to bring it in for Clinch Red. And she's going to give it to Mai. 
Mile bring it down for Clinch Red. It's two to nothing. Great game. Clinch wide into the lead. McQuig playing good defense. They get it to Morgan. Morgan dribbling around, dribbling around. Yep, she's going to pass it back out to number one, Mai. Mai will throw it up. Oh, a little short. Clinch White will take over now. Corbett bringing it down for Clinch White. All the way across. They get it to Trawick. Knocked out of bounds by Morgan. Good defense. Corbett will bring it in. They get it to Trawick. McQuig with the ball now. Back over to number 11. That is Reeves. McQuig trying to get it to Reeves. Reeves had it. She'll lose it. Here comes Maya with the ball. Good steal by Maya. She's going to dribble from one end to the other. Now she'll slow it down. Get it over to Morgan. McQuig all over. Now they'll pass it over to number one. My. My with the long shot and out of bounds. Here comes Clinch White now. Corbett with the ball. She'll give it up over to Reeves. Reeves back to Corbett. Collision over there with Morgan. Good job, Morris. Drove in, number 10. No, not Mars Wheeler. Here comes Clinch Red now. Paisley with the ball. She'll give it up to number one, Mai. Two to nothing. Clinch White on top. Back to Paisley. Back to Mai. Mai looking. She'll get it to Morgan. Morgan's going to dribble in a little bit. She'll... Throw up a 12-footer. Can't get it. Trawick with the rebound. Here comes Clinch White now. Trawick from one end to the other. She'll stop. Wheeler had it. Corbett will save it. Back over to number 11. That's Reeves. She'll give it back to Corbett. Wheeler with the ball. Back to Corbett. McQuig with the ball now. Dribbling around. McQuig, oh, there's a steal by Morgan. Morgan coming down. She'll slow it down. Nope. Be red ball. They can't come outside the circle. Thomas will check in for Clinch White along with number five. That's Edmonds will come in. And Reeves will take a break. All right, Clinch Red with the ball. They get it over to Edwards. Edwards with the ball. They give it up to number 11. That's Joyner. Joyner looking. Get it to Morgan. Oh, there's a big collision. They're going to call a foul. Red will keep possession. Number five, bring it in, Delk. Got it. Oh, red in and out. Couldn't get it to go. Here comes Clinch White. Corbett dribbling down. She's going to throw up one off the front of the rim. Got her own rebound. Red's got her surrounded. We got a jump ball. Red will take over possession. It's two to nothing. Clinch White on top. Corbett will bring it in. She'll get it in to number 12, Trawick. Back to Corbett. Oh, good steal there, number 11. They can tie it up. Let's see. Oh, just she'll miss it. Trawick with the rebound. Here comes Clinch White back down. Good defense by Edwards and Morgan. There's another steal by Joyner. All the way. Can't get that one. Man. Corbett with the rebound. She's going to slow it down now. She'll get it to Trawick. Man, Red's had a couple opportunities that couldn't get it. 
That'll go out of bounds. Clinch Red will take over again. Two to nothing, 120 to play here in the third quarter. Joyner bringing it down for Clint Red. Delk will bring it in. Here we go, 59 seconds to play in the third. Joyner over to Morgan, long shot off the rim, almost went. Edwards fighting for the rebound, she'll get it. Back to Morgan. Thomas jumping up and down. They going to throw it. Let's see. We got a foul. Let's see who's going to the free throw line. I think it's Morgan. She'll be at the free throw line. She can tie this thing up. Two to nothing. Clinch White on top. Morgan first shot on the way. Got it. Oh, just a little off to the right. Second shot on the way. There it is, Morgan, just a little short and out of bounds. 43 seconds to play in the third. Two to nothing, Clint wide on top. Number 11 will bring it in to Thomas, and Thomas will give it right back to Reeves. Clock running 35 seconds here in the third. Reeves over to McQuig. McQuig dribbling good. She'll give it up to Thomas. Thomas looking back to McQuig. Thomas saves it. Clock running. Thomas with the ball. Over to number 11, that's Reeves. Six seconds. McQuig with the ball, two seconds. Finally a throw it, no shot. So after three quarters, it's clinch white, two, clinch red, nothing. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statenville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Accidents happen. When they do, call on the Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at Walker. All right, everybody, we're here for the fourth and final period of here in game one, two, three, four. We got one more game after this one. be the 12 and under. Clint Red needing a basket. Boom! There it is. Number four for Clint Red, Dakota Mars with a three-point. That'll put Clint Red on top. They've trailed the whole game. Finally pull ahead. Corbett to throw up one. Oh, in and out. Won't stick. Morgan with the rebound. Here comes the clinch red back down the court. Morgan looking, trying to get it on. Trawick with the big steal. Here comes number 12 for the clinch white. She's going to throw up one. It's going to be short. Corbett with the rebound. She'll throw it up. Can't get it. Red with the rebound. Here comes number four. That's Dakota again. She's done it one three. Three to two. Clinch Red on top. She gets it over to number one. That's May. My. 
My looking, throws it back over to Dakota, out of bounds. That's her spot over there now. Here comes Clinch White now, they trail. Trawick bringing the ball down for Clinch White. She'll throw it over to Corbett. Corbett looking, back over to number 11, Reeves. They got the black, uh, they got to the back up the red players. They got to stay in the circle. Thomas with the ball now. Corbett with it. Back out to Reeves. Reeves to Wheeler. Wheeler looking. Trying to get it back. There's a big steal by Morgan. Morgan's coming down. She'll bring it all the way down. Slows it down. That's another long one. Boom! Almost went. In and out. Here comes Clinch White. Three to two, Clint Red on top. Reeves with the ball. Looking, she's going to get it over to Trey, Treywick. Oh, good block by Morgan. Couldn't get it. Corbett with the rebound, can't get it. Treywick with it, can't get it. We got a foul. Let's see who's going. Treywick, I think, will be at the free throw line. It will be. Morgan with a big block down low at three to two. Clinch red on top now. All right, Treywick first shot on the way. Oh, we're all tied up. Three apiece. Man, it bounced a mile high, but it went in. Second shot on the way. Off, can't get it. Good rebound by Wheeler. She'll get it back to Treywick. She'll throw it up. Too much. Out of bounds. It's going to be Clinch Red Ball. We're all tied up. Three apiece. We want a timeout. Coach Jeremy wants a timeout, so we'll take one, too. We'll be back in 30 seconds. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 470-2359 to learn more. All right, everybody, we're back here live on Creekbox TV. Man, we sure have enjoyed the rec park. This is the future of the Panthers. These girls are playing hard. We got all girls. We got the 12 and under girls coming up next. And Thursday, me and Daniel will be back to do the boys. All right, here comes Clinch Red. They've clawed back in it. We're all tied up now. Number one with the ball. That's my, my trying to get it to Morgan down low. White has it. Corbett bringing it down. She'll give it up to Trawick. 2.45 to play. Clock running. They get it to Wheeler. Wheeler back out to McQuig. McQuig looking, looking, trying to find open man. She dug to Corbett. Corbett dribbles in. She'll get it back to Trawick. Trawick thought about it. Back to Corbett. Corbett will throw one up. Can't get it to go. It'll go out of bounds. Here comes Clinch Red now. We're all tied up. Edwards will bring it in. Joyner will bring it down. Joyner looking. She'll get it over here to number four. That's Dakota. She had a big three earlier. Back to Joyner. Joyner trying to get it to Morgan. They got it to number one. That's my. Going to throw up. Can't get it. Here comes Clinch White. Trawick bringing it down. 155 to play in the game. McQuig with the ball now. She's looking. She'll get it over to Wheeler. Wheeler dribbling. Back over to number three. That is uh, Barnes. Barnes, we got it tied up. Here comes Clinch Red. will end up with it. That's Joyner bringing it down. All the way. Corbett defense trying to hold her out from scoring. They got her down there. They got to do something. 
Call a timeout or something. It's going to roll out of bounds. The Sioux's got it. Let's see what Coach Jimmy says. Red, red ball. Edwards will bring it in. They get it. Look out. There's another shot. Oh, in and out. Morgan, we got a foul. Morgan was going to put it back up and in. We got a foul. That foul is on number four, Dakota. She hit a big three earlier. Dakota at the free throw line. Coach Edwards talking to his daughter, coaching her up. All right, Dakota's first shot. Up and in. Red team back on top, four to three now. Dakota putting on a show. That's four points for her tonight. She's got them all. Number five for White is checking in. That's Edmonds. All right, Dakota's second shot on the way. In and out, can't get it. Trawick with the rebound. Here comes Clinch White. One twenty to play. Clock. Clock ain't running. Clock ain't running. Hey, the clock ain't running. There we go. It's running now. All right, 115. Here comes Clinch Red. Morgan with the ball. Back over to Reeves. Edwards with it. She throw it around. Got it to number one. That's good save. Good save there by number 11. That's Joyner. Dakota with the ball. She's going to throw it up and in. Six to three. Now to Clinch White. They need a three-point to tie it up. Corbett bringing it down. She'll get it over to Wheeler. Clock running. 42, 41 seconds. Clinch White has the ball. Reeves dribbling in, dribbling in. They'll get it back to Wheeler. Trawick looking for it. They get it over out of bounds. Right off Edmonds' fingertips. We got subs coming in for Clinch Red. 30 seconds to play. Clinch Red with the ball. Red with the ball. Delk will bring it in. She'll bring it in to Joyner. We got subs in for Red now. Got number two in over there, Paisley. Along with number 10, that's uh, Reed. Oh, Delk will lose it. Look out, here we go. They give it up to Trawick. Ten seconds. She's going to throw a bomb. Got it. Whoa, tied up. Six apiece. Four, three, two, one. Oh, it almost went in. What a game. We're going to end in a tie. No overtime. Six apiece. Best game tonight. We're going to take a little break. We'll be back for the 12 and under. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice, and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912 470-2359 to schedule yours today.
This is Alan Hanley, and I want to tell you about Dre's Snack Shack. Dre specializes in chicken wings, barbecue, sausage, hot dogs, hamburgers, salads, and a variety of other mouth-watering menu items. So y'all come on down and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. He can handle all your catering needs also. The good thing is he stays open late at night after the games. So please come in and see Dre at Dre's Snack Shack. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Homerville Jewelers in Homerville is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. Our newly remodeled location has that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby. Homerville Jewelers has the gifts that are suited for any special occasion, whatever it might be. Homerville Jewelers can perform jewelry repairs and offers a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces. No need to shop out of town. Homerville Jewelers can supply all your gift and jewelry needs. Let Kathy Townsend and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family, dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the D... Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! Clinch Memorial Family Practice is growing to better meet the needs of our community. Located in the heart of Homerville, we're convenient for so many of you from Homerville to Lakeland, Statonville, and Pearson. We're a qualified team to take care of you and your family. In addition to primary care, we are a medical spa. We provide a variety of massage therapy and aesthetic services. From sick visits to deep tissue massages and facials, Clinch Family Practice is here to serve you. Or 
accidents happen. When they do, call them at Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjones.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard Barbecue, Douglas and Homerville, Georgia. Enjoy the Pizza Inn All Day Buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Alaska. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Alaska can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creekbox TV. We're here for game number five. Here we go. Yes, ma'am, Doreen. We appreciate Doreen tonight. She's refereed every game, and she give us an extra five minutes. All right, we got Clinch White. This is the 12 and under. They have the ball. Number three is Ganey. Ganey will give it up, knocked out of bounds. This game's going to be a lot quicker than the other one. Looks like AC's got to get out there and referee on some of this one. He does. He's limping around. Jimmy must have had to leave. Here we go. The red has it. They're going to bring it in. Number six. Hang on. That is Fields. Number one. Shelby Corbett has the ball. She's going to dribble around. She's coming to the right. That's a Monk's granddaughter. I know she's full of grit. All right. Corbett will help her up. Number one for the wide is DeWitt. Ariel, Ariel, I guess that's what it is. Good job, number one, Ariel has it. He's going to dribble down. She needs some help. They got it, they get it out. They get it to number three, that is Ganey. Back out to number two, Daniel, that's Grace Lee Daniel. Gracie will get rid of it. She's going to be a good ball player. Last year, she played 10 and under. All right, Prince Red with the ball. They're going to bring it in. AC out there helping them coach them up. You got the coach, referee, and fry the fries. All right, 55 will bring it in. That's Moorhead, I guess. I don't have a 55. I got a five. All 
All right, here we go. Long shot there by number three for the white. That's Ganey. Knocked out of bound. Let's see, we got one down. She's getting up. Number three is. Perkaya, I guess I'm pronouncing that right. Brakaya, I hear Coach Daniel saying it. Brakaya. All right, Shelby going to bring it down for Clint's red. Coming to her left, back to her right. She'll get it out to 5-5. Five, five. Number six will get a shot off, in and out. Shelby with the rebound. She'll throw it up and in. Good shot there by Corbett. Come Clint White now. Gracie will bring it in. Oh, almost a steal. Good job, number three. Ganey bringing it down for Clint White. Trying to get it to number five, Jayla. Jayla back to Ganey. Ganey looking back over to, to, oh, good shot by Ariel. So we're all tied up, two to two. We got a timeout. We'll take one, two. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Hi, right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Boxing. Me and Daniel's been here since 4 o'clock. How long has that been, Daniel? One, two, three, four hours. All right, Shelby bringing it down for Clinch Red. We got it all tied up. And four had it. That was Nipper. She'll give it back to Moorhead, back to Shelby. Corbett looking, looking, looking. Oh, got it to Nipper. Nipper dribbling around, back to Shelby. Got it into number six. That's Fields. Fields back to Moorhead. Moorhead looking. She's going to throw it up off the rim. Won't go. Good rebound in there by, I can't see. Let me see. She got the shot off. Got it off again. That was number three. That is Inman. All right. Daniel with the ball now. She needs some help. She's going to give it. Let's see. Looking, looking. Shelby reaches in. We got a jump ball between Shelby and Ganey. All right. Daniel bring the ball in now. They get it to Ganey. Ganey dribbling around. Two to two. We're all tied up. They're going to get it to number one, DeWitt. DeWitt looking, looking, looking. They find it under the gold. Oh, she was wide open, too. Joyce was. They had a foul. White keeps possession. They throw it in. All right, Moorhead will bring it in now. They'll get it into Corbett. Corbett bringing it down to court. She'll give it up to number six. That's the Fields. Fields driving in. She'll lose the ball, so White has it. Here comes Clinch White now. Ganey bringing it down. All the way over, I don't have that jersey number. Oh man, number four had it, Joyce did, in and out of her hands. Jump ball. I guess Clinch Red has possession, all right. 
22 seconds to play here in the first. Corbett bringing it down now, clock running. Gracie's gonna try to pick her up. Corbett will dribble through. She needs some help, she will. She'll get it out to uh, six. That's Fields. Fields to Moorhead. Corbett with the ball now. Corbett looking two seconds, one second. Oh, almost got it. Good try there by number three. That was in Inman. But the clock will run out, so we'll take a break. We're all tied up to a piece. We'll be back in 60 seconds. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912 470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're getting ready to start the second quarter here. Live on Creek Box here at the middle school in Homerville. This is game five. We have played from four-year-old all the way up to 12-year-old. We're tied up two to two. All right, Clinch White with the ball. Dribbling around, we got a foul. Let's see what happened. Clinch White will keep possession. Number five, Clinch Red, that's Layla Pitt. She's in the game now. Clinch White bringing it in, looking, looking, looking. They get it, good pass. Good job, they got it to number three. That's uh, Inman. There's a steal by Moorhead. Moorhead will throw it up. Oh, can't get it. Out of bounds. Clint Red saved it. Here comes Clint White on the other end. Moorhead slapping at it. They're going to get it out to Gracely. He's dribbling around. Looking, looking, looking for some help. Looking for some help. She will. She'll get it out to Jayla. Jayla dribbling around. She'll get it over to Ganey. Ganey looking, jump ball. Field reached in, so Ganey and Fields, it'll be a jump ball. Red has the possession. Two to two, we're all tied up. Moorhead will bring it in. Here comes Corbett bringing it down for Clinch Red. Good pass, trying to get it to Kite. Kite's got it. Look, they got it wrapped up. Good job by Kite. She'll throw it up off the back of the rim. Moorhead with the rebound. Moorhead looking. They'll throw it down. Oh, Pitts had it. Pitts with the rebound. Got it. Corbett fighting for it. Gracie with the ball for White. Oh, she'll lose it, but the White keeps it. I didn't see what you write down. Oh, I thought you wrote something down, Daniel. Gray C. That's what I said, Gray C, ain't it? <laughs> I thought you were talking about the Gray team. <laughs> gray C. Yeah, that's what I thought. We got a timeout, man. We I forgot my sponsor list. We've been running them all night. Daniel forgot them. I apologize for him. Hey. Right. He's been up to Paul. <laughs> That's right. We want, we got it. We got it. Jamela up here watching the game. We got a good crowd here. It's been good all night. Uh, but, man, if y'all would love to become a sponsor, if you get a hold of me, Daniel, uh, Beth, Connor, Lexi, we can hook you up. We'll shoot a commercial. Man, the commercial costs nothing for you to have. We'll shoot it, and then you have a monthly fee. 
Uh, if you'll call me or Daniel or, like I say, Beth, we can hook you up. We'd love to add you to the Creek Box family. We got baseball coming up, but, man, we got some exciting basketball left for the next two weeks. And then, of course, the playoffs start. And then we got rec balls. That's going to be we're going to start doing some GRPA games. So uh, it's going to be some exciting times here on Creek Box. If we need some sponsors, we'd love to have some. All right, Pitts hustling. The ball will go out of bounds. That's white ball. Gracie will bring it in. I reckon I was pronouncing that wrong. What did I say, Gracie? All right, here we go. Gracie's a great little ball player. Oh, Moorhead got a piece of it, stepped it out. Long hustle, watch out. Oh, boy, that wall's so close. Here comes Clinch White. Moorhead slapping at it, stealing it. Pitts has got it. Pitts will fall on it and cover it up. Man, these girls are playing hard tonight. Rough. Knees and elbows all skin up. We got number 11 for Clinch Red checking in. Time out. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back in 60 seconds. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy. Here. It's uh, not that Daniel, different Daniel, the coach Daniel. All right, here we go, Red with the ball. They're fighting over to another tie up down there. Boy, they tying it up tonight. White has the ball. Here we go, Gracie will bring it in for Clinch White. Looking, looking, going to throw it up. Good steal there by number six for Clinch Red. That's Fields up and in. Clinch Red on top, four to nothing. Four to two, excuse me. Gracie bringing it down for Clinch White. Gracie looking, looking, needs some help. She will. She'll get it to number five, Jayla. Jayla dribbling around. Looking, she's going to get it over to number four. That's Joyce. Joyce. Let's see, we got a foul. Clint White, oh, Coach AC is going to call them in and said, all right, girls. And, man, this is nothing uncommon here. The girls always play rougher than the boys. You got to bring them in and talk to them and remind them we're all on the same tee, and that's what Coach AC is doing. He does a great job out here. At the end of the day, we want them to compete and fight. At the end of the day, everybody out here is Panthers. All right. Gracie will bring it in for Clinch White. They will. They get it in. Good save there by Moorhead. Got it. That's number five with the ball. That's Jayla. Jayla trying to get it to number three, Ganey. It's going to be knocked out of bounds. I think Clinch White will keep possession. Gracie will bring it in, trying to hurry it up. She does. Oh, trying to get it to Joyce. Good steal there by number three. Three for Clinch Red. That is Inman. Oh, Corbett driving in. Knocked out of bounds over there by Jayla. Corbett seen a little crack. She tried to ease in there and get a layup. Here we go. Gracie bringing it in. Knocked away by number six. She's going to throw it up. Got a foul. That was Fields with the shot. Good ball player. That's Journey Fields. Coach Doreen lining them up. 54 seconds to play in the first half. First shot. Oh, just off for Fields. 
Second free throw on the way. Got it. Oh, off the rim. Can't get it. Gracie fighting for the rebound along with Corbett. Jump ball. A white team has the possession. Gracie's going to bring it in. The red team in a full court press. They get it to number three. Good job. That's uh, Ganey. Ganey will lose it. Here comes Corbett all the way. Lays it up and in. Good job by Corbett. That's Shelby from the big city of Fargo. Oh, good steal there. Number six has Fields again. She'll throw it up and lose it. 16 seconds to play in the first half. Red team up six to two. White team get it. They'll get it in to number five. That's Jayla. Jayla dribbling down, knocked out of bounds. White team will keep possession. 12.4 seconds to play. They get it. Shoot number three had an opening, couldn't get it off. That was that was Ganey. Seven seconds now. Ariel bring it in. They got it into number five. Jayla, you got to get it off. Four seconds, two seconds, one second. Throw it up, baby. Throw it up. And that's going to do it. Halftime. It's Clinch Red six, Clinch White two. We'll be back in about five minutes. Accidents happen. When they do, call them at Walker Jones Collision Center. Manager Roy Wolf and his team of fully trained and talented people do top quality repairs on all major brands, restoring your vehicle to manufacturer's guidelines and treating you, the customer, like good friends and neighbors should. The Walker Jones Collision Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross, and online at walkerjones.com. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. For the best barbecue this side of Texas, ramble on over to Barnyard Barbecue in Homerville and Douglas. Whether it's ribs, chicken, sandwiches, tips, or just a barbecue plate that you're looking for, Barnyard Barbecue has it all. Located at 1070 Old Bell Lake Road in Douglas, Georgia and at the Old Jimbo's Log Kitchen Lot in Homerville, Georgia every Thursday, Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m. Barnyard Barbecue will satisfy your craving for barbecue no matter what you're hungry for. Barnyard. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salad, pasta, dessert, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, Camping World of Valosta can meet all of your RV needs. So don't put your dreams off another day. As part of our commitment to convenient health care and the highest quality in pharmacy services, Clinch Memorial Pharmacy offers three convenient ways for you to get your prescriptions. We offer an easy walk-in location near the ER entrance. Our pharmacist is on site, ready to help if you have any questions. With our curbside pickup options, we will bring the prescriptions to your car. Just call ahead. We also offer a delivery service for prescriptions for patients in Clinch County. Make the change today. Call 912-470-2359 to learn more. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill, located at 31 East Dame Avenue, Homerville, has the best food and atmosphere anywhere around. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill has a great lunch and dinner menu with a wide variety of your favorite food including that perfectly grilled steak, wraps, sandwiches, chicken and salads. Big Daddy's in Homerville also has your favorite drink to go with your meal. Drop by Big Daddy's in Homerville, you won't be disappointed. Big Daddy's Bar and Grill on 84 in Homerville for the best food and drinks around. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. 
experts, professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. From our swing bed service to our primary care practice and now our new retail pharmacy, Clinch Memorial Hospital is equipped to provide our community the best care right here at home. Dr. Angkor is Clinch Memorial's physician and offers quality care at Clinch Family Practice, where our community can also enjoy spa services. At Clinch Memorial Pharmacy, patients can fulfill their prescriptions conveniently with our curbside pickup services. We also provide the COVID vaccine. Give us a call at 912-470-2355. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creepbox TV. It's six to two, Clinch Red on top. I seen, uh, got to give a shout out to my buddy. I know Monk's watching Fargo. He's watching that grandbaby of his. She'll be playing. She's playing good. She's hit a basket or two tonight. They lead six to two over the white team. I tell you what, both teams, once they combine them, going to be pretty good talent coming up. All right, we're getting ready to start the third quarter. This is game five for me and Daniel. We've been here since 4 o'clock. We'll be back here Thursday to do the boys game. All right, Clinch White will inbound it. Number one, Ariel bring it in. Got it? She's going to get it over to number four. That's Joyce. Joyce over to Ganey. Be a foul. White ball. White team will keep possession. Ariel bring it in. Got it to Joyce. Joyce dribbling around. Corbett's going to steal it. Here she comes. He's quick. You got to watch her. Here it goes. She's going to get it out to number six. That's Fields. She's hit a couple of baskets tonight. Fields in the kite. Kite looking. She'll dribble. Got it back. Oh, good steal there by number three, Ganey. She's going to take it from one end. Moorhead will run her down. Go, oh, Ganey. It went in and out. Couldn't get it in. All right, white team will keep it. Ariel will bring it in. You're looking, she's going to get it out. I don't have that one's number, but I'm fixing to get her name. That one, out of bounds. It'll be Clinch Red with the ball now. All right, Shelby with the ball. She's going to dribble around, take off like a rocket. There she goes down the sideline. Good pass to Kite. Kite, turn around and shoot, can't get it. Pitt fighting for it. Good job by Clinch White. Ariel with the ball. Going to go out of bounds. Let's see what Doreen called here. Clinch Red has it. Fields, nope. White has the ball. Ariel bring it in. Looking, looking, long pass over to the end. Shoot it, baby. There it is. Oh, off the top. Fighting for it. Shelby over there fighting for it. Out of bounds. Jayla, number five for the white team. Pitts will bring it in for Clinch Red. You're going to get it in to number six. That's Fields. Fields, they tie it up. Jump ball. <laughs> see, see the girls, boy, they rough. Ain't get it on AC's. I mean, he's going to be hoarse the time he gets through tonight. 
Fields going to bring it in. They're looking, looking, looking. They're going to throw it. Good job by Pitts to run it down. She's trying to get it in. We got a tackle up under the gold. And they call a jump ball. I'm going to tell you, these girls be good on the football team. And they go. The white team bringing it down. Jayla with the ball. Corbett will pick her up. Good pass over to Ariel. Moorhead with the ball. She'll steal it. Here she comes. For one end, she'll pull up. Can't get it. Ariel with the rebound. She's looking, looking, dribbling through. Good pass. They get it to Joyce. Joyce off the backboard up and in. Six to four now. One possession game. Time out, Red. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Napa Auto Parts 255 South Church Street, Homerville, Georgia, is your one stop for all auto, truck parts, tools, equipment, and accessories. Napa Auto Parts has been a name you can trust in Homerville for many years. If Napa does not have the item you need in stock, the friendly, knowledgeable, and efficient personnel at Napa Auto Parts will have it for you the next day. Open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. on Saturday, Napa Auto Parts in Homerville is a name you can trust. Napa Auto Parts in Homerville. All right, I got that name. That's Renaya Miles. Mm. All right. We have got a barn burner here tonight. I'm going to have to get some more ink for this ink pen. It's 6 to 4 with 228 to play in the third. The last game finished in a tie. They hit a three point shot with four seconds left to tie it up. Clinch Red will inbound it. They're going to get it in. Looking, looking, looking. Got to get it in. They do. Corbett with the ball. She's going to bring it down. Take off like a rocket. Here she comes back around the other way. Let me see the good pass. Got it to pitch down there. Shot. Can't get it to go. Good basket there by Nipper with the basket. Eight to four now. Clinch red on top. Here comes Clinch white now. Ganey bringing it down. Looking. She's going to get it back over. Good steal there by Moorhead. Moorhead's going to take off the other way. She'll stop off the back. Well, can't get it. Rebound, Ariel, number one for the white team. Here she comes, knocked out of bounds. Nope. They got it. There's a steal by Moorhead coming back this way. She fell down. She'll get it to Shelby. Shelby dribbling around to the basket up under there. Good pass to Nipper. Nipper can't get it. She got another one. Oh, in and out, won't fall. Moorhead with the rebound. Moorhead's going to throw it good. Blocked there by Gracie. Gracie with the ball now. Jump ball, so the white team will take over. 8 to 4, 125 to play in the third. They need a breather, man. They've run up and down the court. They give out, I'm give out for them. Each team don't have but about five, six players. The red team has six, seven, and the white team has six, so there's not much substitution going on. All right, Gracie's going to bring it in for Clinch White. Boy, it had a steal, lost it. Here comes Ariel bringing it down for Clinch White. He's going to dribble around. Can't get it looking. They get it back out to Gracie. Gracie dribbling. She needs some help. You'll get it back to Ariel. Ariel trying to dribble inside. They can't. Red team all got the defense stacked up. Number three, that's Inman in there with the jump ball. Good defense by her. That's Brandley. All right, Moorhead with the ball. She's going to dribble. Stop. She's going to throw it all the way back over the fields. 
White has it now. We had a foul. AC said white ball. Here we go. 40 second clock running. They give out. You got to hurry up. Ariel will bring it in. They're looking, looking. They're going to get it to number five. That's uh, Jayla. Jayla will slip. She needs some help. Help her, help her. There you go. They get it to, to Ariel. Ariel dribbling around. 20 seconds. Inman going to try to wrap it up. They do. Another jump ball. Red team with the ball now. 16 seconds to play in the third. All right. No white team has the ball. Number three is going to bring it in. That's Ganey. Ganey looking, looking, trying to get it. Good job by Moorhead to knock it out of bounds. Here we go. They get it to Gracie. Gracie looking, needs a shot. Good defense by Shelby. Can't get it off. They got it. Stripping the clock running. Seven, six. Here comes Ganey. Looking, look. No, that's Fields with the ball. We'll have a foul with 2.1 seconds to play in the third. That'll put Fields at the free throw line for Clinch Red. Eight to four. Clinch red on top. Big baskets here. First shot up and in. Good shot by Fields. Nine to four now. Second shot on the way. Got it. Nothing but net. Ten to four. Two seconds left here in the third. You got to throw it, baby. Throw it down there. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the D. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Creek Box TV. This is the quarter me and Daniel have been looking for, the fourth and final one of game five. Clinch red on top. 10 to 4 over Clinch White. Clinch Red with the ball. They're looking, got to get it in. They get it to Pitts. Pitts back, trying to get it to Moyhead. Pitts with the ball again. You need to get a timeout. Now they're out of bounds. Fields has it, so that means Clinch Red with possession. You see having to back them up. There ain't much room out of bounds over here in the gym. They bring it in, bring it in. Trying to get it to Pitts out of bounds. We're going to be a do-over. Clinch Red Fields will bring it back in again. Throw it. They get it to Moorhead. Moorhead trying to drive. Spin move. Throws it up. Can't get it. Good rebound in there by Ganey. Here comes Ganey. Got to get a shot off, baby. Ganey looks red. They got it wrapped up on both sides. Jump ball. All right, Clinch White has possession. Got to shoot the ball. Shoot it. Time you get down there. And they go, Jayla bringing it in. 
Need some help, need some help. Get a time, get a time, get a time. She does, she got it in to Miles. Miles has it, good save. She get it back to Jayla. Jayla in and out of her hands, can't go. Moorhead will take the ball, here she comes. Back to number six, that's Olda Fields. Fields dribbling around, dribbling around. All the way over to Kite. Kite will throw it up and in. Good shot by Kite. All right, that's like, uh, Kite with a basket. That's gonna make it 12 to four. Shoot it, baby. Got it, that's Miles with the ball. She'll give it back up to Ariel. That's gonna be a foul. Clinch White will have possession. 345, 44 o'clock running. Clinch Red needs a basket down here now. Or Clinch White does, I'm sorry. Miles will bring it in. Throw it in, baby. Throw it in. She's going to try to. She will. Got it to Ganey. Ganey driving in, up and in. 12 to 6 now. Good basket for Ganey. Now Clinch White will jump into a press. Corbett bringing it down. She'll fly to the half-court mark. She'll lose it. White team has it. There's a good pass out to Gracie. Gracie going all the way. Knocked out of bounds by Moorhead. Clinch White has possession. Three minutes to play in the game. Coach Cott wants a timeout. With 2.56 to play in the game, we'll take a break. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Enjoy the Pizza Inn all-day buffet with more than 40 items featuring salads, pasta, desserts, and pizzas located at 501 South City Boulevard in Waycross. Whether you want to dine in or take out, the Pizza Inn in Waycross is the place to go for wonderful pizza and salad bar. Call 912-809-2411 for takeout orders or drop by for a grand dining experience. The Pizza Inn, Waycross, Georgia. Need a break? Need some quality family time? Get over to Camping World of Valosta right now. Camping World of Valosta can put you in an RV for as little as $5 per day. Make your dreams of camping with your family or a road trip across the USA reality. Experience the freedom that comes with the purchase of an RV from Camping World of Valosta. Whether it is a purchase of an RV, maintenance, service, or camping supplies, we back, Danielson. We are back live. 2.56 to play in the final game. Girls 12 and under. Me and Danielson will be back Thursday at 5.30, I think, live. We'll send you out a text and let you know. Oh, there's a big pile up, a crash on turn two down there. We got them piled up. Out of bounds. I don't know who the ball, let's see. Doreen says it's the red team has the ball. All right, field to bring it in. She finds Corbett. Corbett off the backboard. Couldn't get it to go. Here comes Ganey. Ganey dribbling through. Got a shot. Get it off. Oh, off the rim. Can't get it. Moorhead with the rebound. Here she comes. Back the other way. She'll give it back up to Fields. Clock running, 2.30 to play. They get it to Shelby. She's dribbling around. She'll go to the right, looking, looking, looking. Need some help. She'll get it back out to Fields. Fields with a long three off the back of the rim. Moorhead has it. We've got a tackle at the mid. Let's see, we jump ball. Clock running, 2.08, 2.07, 2.06. Clinch White has the ball. Jayla's going to bring it in. He will. She'll get it over to Ganey. Ganey dribbling it down. Get down here and shoot it. She is. She's going to drive in. Shoot it. Can't get it to go. Good. Nipper with the rebound. She's going to get it out to Moorhead. Moorhead slides on the ball, and they fall down and wrap it up. Jump ball again. Clinch Red has possession. Clock running. 1.30 to play. Fields will bring it in. 
I know these girls that give out. They run up and down the court all night. Field looking. You got to get it in. Got to get it in. Got to get it in. They do. They get it to Corbett. Corbett looking. She's going to dribble up to the free throw line. Trying to get it to Nipper. Corbett saved it. She got it to Nipper. No. Joyce with the steal for Clinch White. She'll hold on to it. She'll get it over to Miles. Miles throws it down to Jay, the Ariel. Ariel driving in, throws it up, can't get it. Ariel throw up another one, can't get it. Miles had it and loses it out of bounds. 12 to 6. Clinch red on top. Fields is going to bring it in. Got it to Moorhead. Moorhead dribbling. All right, here we go. Fields is going to bring it in again. They get it to Corbett. Corbett dribbling through. She's across half court. She's going to get it down. Good pass down low. Can't get it to go. Got it. Corbett with the rebound. She's going to throw it up. We got a foul. I think that'll put little Shelby at the free throw line. Number three, Inman had it. Almost made the basket. Twenty-eight seconds to play. Only a two-possession game. Corbett can kind of put it away if she hits one of these. She'll be looking, taking her time. Shot on the way off the back of the rim. She's hit a couple of baskets tonight. She's the smallest one out there, but she's the fastest one. She'll miss that one. Here comes uh, Ariel with the ball for Clinch White. Knocked out of bounds. Nope. They got it. They're going to keep it. Number five, Jayla has it. She'll get it to Miles. Miles going to throw up a three off the side of the rim. Can't get it. Oh, almost went. Ten seconds. Eight seconds. Six. Nope, seven seconds. Clinch Red is going to get out of here with a win tonight. They're going to throw it in. Two shots. That'll put number three at the free throw line. That's Ganey. Good ball player for Clinch White. Gamey taking her time. First shot on the way. Got it. Good shot. 12 to 7. Second shot on the way. Off the side. White had it. Red got it. Moorhead with the rebound. Four, three seconds left. Jump ball. Red's going to bring it in. They throw it. Oh, good. Miles. Oh, good job by Inman. Knocked it away. And that's going to do it. Clinch Red with the victory. 12 to 7. We appreciate all y'all tuning in. We appreciate Coach A.C. Cooper, the Clinch County Homerville Recreation Director. Allowing us to come do the games. All these kids are excited. They're ready to get home and watch Creek Box. I want to remind everybody, me and Daniel will be back Thursday with some boys. Rec Park basketball. We want to leave you with what Mr. Barry and always told us. Please tell someone about Jesus. God bless you. We'll see you Thursday.